Rub a dub dub, two boys in a tub. It's Tom and Dad to tell you about modern PI. I don't think they want that. <laughs> Rub a dub dub, <laughs> two yeah, boys yeah. in a tub. Yeah, yeah. Tom I mean, and Dan and modern PI. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what uh, us Soap in a tub. It up. Okay. Or yeah, well, they're plumbing. They're not yeah, actually. Yeah. I know it's a bathroom. What have they done for you? What have they worked on for both of our houses? Showers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both they, of our showers. They, in well, fact, you had to big dog me because I had a. I had a shower that was in uh, disrepair. It uh-huh. had not had anybody look at it um, since the house was was built. Yeah, yeah. Modern PI came in. Modern plumbing came in and fixed the whole thing up and made it perfect. But then you had to one up me and then get a custom made copper piped and engineered on the exterior of your home outdoor shower that looks like some steampunk madness. Yeah, yeah. It is awesome. And they came up with the idea because my idea was hard. <laughs> <laughs> what I suggested to them, gonna... they were like, no, sir. Uh, they, we can do it a better way. We've done this before. Well, I'm like, oh. From here. I thought you were going to take my inexperienced <laughs> advice about how to install an outdoor uh, shower. Uh. Um, whatever plumbing problem Problem you have or a project you have, yeah. you got to contact Modern Plumbing. In fact, the, you'll get 10% off if you mention Tom and Dan, any of their services. Um, they service Seminole, Orange, Lake, Volusia, Osceola County. Um, they're a second generation family owned business. Yeah. Uh, from Central Florida all the way back in from the 70s. That's something we'll never get to do. When we yeah. die, this thing's in the ground. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One generation. <laughs> yeah. Barely one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, residential, commercial, industrial, they do 24-hour service calls. Yeah. So any plumbing problem you have or project, modernpi.com. Live from the injured on the go, just call Mo Studio. It's a blast. It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise. Joke heavy and just bright. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Hey, it is another a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. We got guests here. Sam is here. Hello, Sam. Hello. I love your hair. Thank you. It looks really, really, really good. Switch it up for 2024. Yeah, man. I love that hair. I also also (laughs) saw this video. I don't know if you saw that Melissa put together about the 2024 Tom and Dan Cruise, and it opens with Samantha. I didn't even recognize her. So who the hell is that? My wife's like, that's Samantha. I don't remember Samantha having wine-colored hair. Do you? I didn't even know. He she didn't changed. notice my hair this week. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, had to I, wouldn't tell I wouldn't say that because I was like, "Oh, I can't believe Ross cut his hair." And then he goes, "I think I saw him. I didn't even yeah, realize." Yeah. And I, I go, "You probably didn't even realize my hair." And yeah. he's like, "I did not." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I'd say that after the whole wedding thing. You know, I mean, she flags these right. She's got a folder on you at this point. Although, if you don't notice someone's change, it's not an insult to them. Yeah. Although, that's how my wife takes it, and that's how everybody yeah. takes it. But how is that an insult? I just didn't... Sounds know. like it's an insult. <laughs> no, everybody it, takes it as an insult. Like, it's wow, insult. it must not look good. He didn't say anything. I, no, I but it, what, I, if it, what if the person never notices anything, which is me? So it's not, it's not like I notice some people and give them You compliments. notice things. I notice nothing. You can't use that as a crush. He can I point it out? Anything. Can I point it out? Hold on. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on I just you are? just mm. noticed. Oh my yeah. god! We said that last time we were peeing together. I didn't know that. Let me suck your dick, man. Uh, isn't that the way it works? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, did you notice yesterday? Real quick, because we're talking about this is real. Uh, yeah. When Dom from the Supervillains was in here, Weston Trading Company books all the shows. When Dom was on the couch, did you notice me? I did it. I did something that was weird. What? That I do with everybody that you think is weird, and I looked at him. I go, Oh man, your hair looks nice today. That's did not weird. N- did you guys notice that? Oh, I noticed. Yeah, yeah. I was making fun of it in the chat. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we got to talk about Dom's flat top. <laughs> did it not look nice? <laughs> it was just different. I've never seen his hair that way. Flat top like Fresh Prince flat yeah. top? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. All right. But, but there is an art <laughs> and like an actual like <laughs> it, it, good clown in his hair. I'm like, <laughs> I was oh, waiting because he, he normally does look at the chat, so I was waiting for him uh, to say something. Oh yeah, he, he gets uh, he gets hurt. There is. He got me back l- last night. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah. it. Like a business psychology, and there's like uh, uh, like uh, some psychology in like uh, putting out compliments to people. And, I love like, giving people compliments because I want compliments. Yeah, like, it, like oh, uh, you're doing it because you want a bad. No, no, I'm not fishing. I don't do it and expect one back. Oh, absolutely I do. not. But I gave my <laughs> I gave my wife one, dude. I'm so good at it. I gave my wife one at breakfast this morning because I think she's almost off her cycle, and I'm ready to pump. All oh, right. come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I got it. Like, so I was like, she's I, a woman. She knows Mandy, are you okay yeah. here? Yeah, is yeah, this yeah, too much? Right? No, is this okay. too much? She's you all right? Yeah, yeah. She's high as hell. You're fucking up her butt. All right. I, I looked at Andrea and I was like, you look really, I go, you look, like, your skin looks really good this morning. You know, like I just threw out something like that. Oh, that's that. nice. I got to win. Oh, he's laying down the ground. Yeah, yeah. You got to yeah, put the, yeah. you skin put looks the real good. I want to be on it. Yeah. You yeah. got yeah. to put, put the work in if you want to pump. <laughs> All right, before we get to our guests, let's talk about uh, Science on Tap. Yes. It's the Orlando Science oh. Center Beer Fest coming up uh, next Saturday, yep. January 20th. And we're going to be out there, and I'm excited about it because it is a, it's like what I like to call a fancy beer fest. Yeah, oh, it's Ooh. super nice. Uh, and We you, put on a non-fancy beer fest. It's yeah. great. Don't get me wrong. It's my favorite. Uh, it's fancy. Ours is yeah, 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 But this one's nice, fancy. Yeah. Like, this These is guys good. are giving away a Land Rover experience. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we, don't, we don't have that at the old bad of business. Yeah, yeah. You no. can win a... Best, best you get is free beer. We can give away the Slam Hog experience, though. We got that. Um, but only if you got nice skin. You, you can win an all-expense-paid trip to Vermont, uh, courtesy Land Rover, yeah, and a bunch God. of other prizes. But are you flying with the migrants that are being shipped there, or is it your own ticket? I don't know. If you use uh, promo code Tom and Dan 50 uh, yeah. that will give you $10 off your ticket. Can you imagine waking up in Vermont, and you're like... Where am I? (laughs) 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 They're not going to understand me here. (laughs) This is weird. I think I think that applies to Americans as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? What these vineyard vines? But it's where Ben and Jerry's is from. Is it Vermont? Yeah. yeah. I've always wanted to go Vermont's to Vermont. Vermont's finest. Um, it looks beautiful in Vermont. You should go there. Um, Maybe, wait, are we eligible to win this? Yes, uh, we are. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I got to talk to Jeff. <laughs> or the, yeah, they're going to tell us no. I, I mean, I don't even win. work for the Science Center, so it's fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so also, uh, we have the Orlando Solar Bears whiteout game mm-hmm. coming up on the 27th. And there's a pre-tailgate party we're doing at uh, Mo DeWitt's parking lot. Yes. The bus deck putting on he's got beer he's cooking hot dogs <laughs> <laughs> oh. i guarantee he's doing nothing but standing there oh. <laughs> he hot dogs. Oh, oh, is he cooking hot he dogs said, that's said. what he told me he claims he's Mandy, cooking john, dogs john who does bungalow over in the bus with me he's the bus uh-huh. yeah, yeah yeah john is uh-huh. supposed to be cooking up his own he's bus doggers. he said he's uh cooking some glizzies yeah mm. he said that he was going to grill them himself which to me is a little embarrassing because you know <laughs> we can cater you know we're not <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're adults. I'm almost a 50 year old man. Oh, I work oh, very oh, hard. Bo's like, get to work. Grill those hot dogs. <laughs> he gets me a lot of money. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, so if you want to go to that Solar Bears game and sit in the Tom and Dan section, go to tomanddan.com, click on the Solar Bears link, and that's how you get your tickets yeah. in the Tom and Dan section, section 118. And thanks to Mo for always like being fun. I feel like without Mo, this show would have no fun. <laughs> like a lot in a lot of ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean events. Our show is fun. Don't get me wrong, but like he's always down for like. What do you guys want to do? You want to do something crazy? Let's oh, not, nice. let's do it. Let's do a tailgate. Yeah, he's cool, man. I We're, love me some Mo. We'd also be out of business yeah, in a couple months. That was my way of saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have sure. to start hitting the pavement, door to door salesman yeah, style. Bad. And that's uh, embarrassing too. That's more yeah, yeah. embarrassing than than Busticker grilling hot dogs. I have to put on my purple suit and get to work. The purple, maybe on the streets you wear the brown suit you have, and the purple one's just for events. I honestly think if I spent all day long just going to business to business, I couldn't sell one advertiser. No, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know if I feel good about yeah. you being the head of the business yeah. department. Then, yeah, I don't know about that. That's, I get, like the, that's like the guy saying, "I play poker professionally." I'm pretty sure if I sat at this card game, <laughs> I would lose every hand. I could all <laughs> Kardashian go to a poker thing and wear reflective glasses, yeah. and then everyone could see her hand. Yeah, <laughs> she was all, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can only make a sale if someone calls me and says they want to advertise. I like that. They got to And then I have an 80% yeah, I success I only catch rate. fish when the fish jumps on my hook. Um, so uh, we have some guests today. Oh, we got today. cases of claws showing up at the old uh, tailgate party. Mm. Oh, really? Mm. Tracy wanted Tracy us to let us claw. know. Okay. Oh, my God. We got some white claw. Thank you, white claw. Thank you, Mo DeWin. We'll all get shit from <laughs> 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 right before the game. Before the game, yeah. And, and then, we're all going to be wearing white? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, nothing looks better on white than a Bahama Mama puke. <laughs> this old uh, <laughs> Eat My Wife's You Know What going to be there? Oh, he's yeah. going to have some puke on his wife. I'm glad yeah. you cleaned it up. I, I like how you said it like Elvis would. That's how Elvis would say, Bahama Mama. But you know what? I Are you going back to Elvis? Oh. Someone uh, did troll me on oh. our social because, like, uh, you know, Melissa does such a good job with our videos that they're getting out there beyond our listeners. And someone yeah. made a comment uh, on our TikTok video, and they're like, who's this? Uh, like, the guy in the bottom, he's talking about me. It was a shot. It said <laughs> you're an Elvis impersonator of an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. And then I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, I'm mad. Wait, I thought you liked being bullied. Wait, Wait, only by our listeners. Uh, <laughs> Not by strangers. Did we switch roles? Because that's uh, I look at it laughed, and that's what you're doing. Really <laughs> no, do. no, but I like when the listeners bully yeah. me. But if it's a stranger on the internet, oh, like, fuck Aww. you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, oh, you see, see the BDMs <laughs> photoshopping me in uh, wheelchairs on the but BDM accurate, page. but accurate. So uh, at least not fat Elvis. <laughs> well, <laughs> sure. a few I, years ago, <laughs> I actually liked. I actually liked the way that fat Elvis presented better. Oh, really? Than skinny Elvis. <laughs> I yeah. liked Elvis on the cusp, like black Elvis. Elvis, or not black Elvis, yeah, Elvis is, in a black leather suit. That, that was one? the was that the sixty eight comeback special. I, I believe. I don't do math. <laughs> no, that's yeah, no, 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 no that's what it's called. Being... No, that's what it's called. It's oh, okay. called. The, I think it's the sixty eight. Yeah, it's called the sixty eight or sixty. Like it was in the sixties. Elvis had fallen off, uh-huh. and he he already he was already kind of on the decline. Yeah. And at this time, he like got it together and he got that black leather suit, and sexy, he, and he sang in the round. Ooh. It was like one of the first time, and he surrounded himself with women, and he had that black suit on. It may not be sixty eight, but I I think it was the 68 comeback yeah. special, and he did it, and that literally relaunched him. That was his comeback. That's my favorite Elvis. Yeah. And it was I would th- agree with you. I, th- I think so, too. That's like midway. Yeah. That's the way he should have looked. Leather he was, daddy. He, a li- he like wasn't skinny. Fluffy Elvis. He wasn't too skinny, but <laughs> yeah. he was like, yeah. And was like, like, Mandy, you had no idea what you were getting into. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't warn her, Brendan? <laughs> I kind of so, did. So, I gave her a little okay. context. Yeah. Are we freaking you out a little bit? No, I just should have smoked more weed. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about it. I brought, I'm smoking right now. So, hey! uh, of, of course, Brendan O'Connor's here, and uh, Brendan brought a guest today, uh, and uh, Brendan's going to be working with Mandy on a project that I want to hear about, but Mandy, uh, Mandy Harlan's here, and she is a marijuana influencer. I love that. Which I have a lot I of questions about. I want to know how to become one. That's my first question. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, Mandy? <laughs> I'm hanging in. I'm good. I'm uh, good. I'm happy. You to got be this. Here. I got it. <laughs> I like you I had to hang. say. I'm yeah. happy to be I here. <laughs> but, but, but I, I don't never... believe her. Though her eyes say different. Her eyes are like, get me out of here. <laughs> By the way, what uh, is all this pumping about? <laughs> um, so uh, Mandy got here first before Brendan, yeah. and then we uh, we introduced ourselves, and we're like, hey, please take a seat in our lobby. It's a good thing we Help have the yourself. studio because I think that's the only thing that kept her. The show <laughs> would have chased her away, but the well, plaques kept her here. And <laughs> Mandy's sitting in our lobby. Lobby and we're like, help yourself to any drinks you want uh, in the fridge. Or we have a, that's nice. Yeah. We're, we're we have s- a cookie bar that I think they oh. refilled it. Did they refill the cookie bar? No. We're oh. out. We're yeah. out. <laughs> well, like, we do have old hot sauce. Hey, though. Panty Boy, can you refill the cookie bar? <laughs> yeah. We're like, we'll, we'll bring you in as, as soon as Brendan gets here. And, and then we're starting to play because Daniel plays uh, not only videos, but songs before the show starts. Yeah, because I'm an old school radio guy and but, I'll be doing that until I die. You know, goof songs. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden, uh, the big old dick song yeah. comes on. That's, that's a classic. And, <laughs> and, this is bla- and we're all sitting here in silence. <laughs> and then through the corner of my eye, Mandy's just sitting there on the couch listening to this song oh, blast. And, and then I'm like, what is she thinking? <laughs> like, no, what, I told you what, what I was thinking. Show? I said, I said, if I were sitting on the couch and I heard the big old dick song, <laughs> yeah. I would just walk 
out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to embarrass me. Mandy They're can handle it. Taking it all in. They're Mandy okay. can throw it down. But I'm, right. I'm like, I'm a grown middle aged man. <laughs> this is my business. I think the 50 thing is, daunt- is like haunting me. I was going to say daunting, but it is daunting yeah. to be 47. Haunting but, and daunting. but I'm looking that's, at. That's beyond middle age. No, no, that's, I know. <laughs> you'll never make it to 100. I know, but <laughs> no, I'm just saying, right? No one makes it to I'm holding out for nanobots. <laughs> no. I need nanobots. Yeah. You got to get those. Uh, put them in my body. Beer drinking cow be friend know, from Zuck. So what? Back to Mandy. Yeah. Sorry, Mandy. Um, <laughs> We're all over the place. So first, That's a t-shirt. let's talk about the project uh, <laughs> you and Brendan are going to do. Um, yeah. So, Brendan, what is the project? It's called Yoga High. Woo. Okay, Yoga, yoga high. high. Yeah, which is exactly it's exactly what it sounds it's like. like yeah. Right? Yeah. We're gonna. It was. It wasn't even my idea. I stole it from uh, from Mandy's other half, <laughs> <laughs> from Sarah. So you get high and do nice. yoga. Uh, yeah, Sarah, Sarah, uh, I forget Sarah, Sarah's last name is escaping me right Burnett. now. Burnett. Oh my God, don't tell her. Is she listening right now? No, she's teaching yoga. Oh, thank God. <laughs> there you go. I can uh, cut that out if you need to look better. I yeah, um, thank you. Okay. Uh, Cracker Jack, one of the best yoga instructors in, in such Florida. She's amazing. She's everyone, people who are in the yoga scene love her and appreciate her. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we were all hanging out. I think we were smoking weed too at the time we were Probably. talking about it. Yeah. And, uh. <laughs> And she was like, oh, I've had this idea where people do, you know, you smoke and you, and then you practice yoga and it helps center you, you know, you're, you're, if you have a small attention span, I, I think you or me are kind of the same in that mm-hmm. response. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I would, I start thinking about, I should be doing taxes or something, right? Like what, <laughs> when I'm doing yoga, I'm like, what else should I be doing ah, other than yeah. looking after myself? Standing still is very hard. Yeah. Hard. But pot hard. helps. At least, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's the only reason I stand still. Well, let's, let's. So Siri had that idea, and I was like, "Well, why aren't we doing it?" And I was like, "I I know a space." And so we, I called up the folks at mm-hmm. uh, T Market Group who own the Acre. They just purchased the Acre in College Park, which is like a non traditional wedding venue, and they're actually about to open it up to the public today. Oh, like, really? It's mm-hmm. going to be like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, open to the public. You can just go and drink beers and hang out there. Oh. Uh, it was just crazy. And so we're going to start, we're going to be some of their first programming there. We're going to start doing a, a, a regular nice. series there. Mandy comes in because she knows all the weed dispensary people. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, it's weird hearing myself be called an influencer. Um, that I'm, was me. <laughs> I that's me. what he told me. I yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. on an influencer. Now I get it. But that's how we started. When you totally, when we totally. started hanging out, that's what you were doing. You were, yeah, yeah. I educate, I advocate, um, and... Social media was the easiest way to get yeah. it out there, so I did what I had to do. You have a thing <laughs> yeah. in the villages where you work with. Yeah, uh, I teach senior citizens all about cannabis. We have a medical marijuana oh, club. My father in law is going to hate you. <laughs> <laughs> he lives out there. Yeah, he hates yeah, the dope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you get a lot of pushback? Or are they pretty open minded about it? They're pretty open. You get some pushback, but they're pretty open and excited that they can be uh, open about it and expose. Sure. To the public. My mom was gave me some pushback at first, but it was funny how, as time went on, how she was a little bit more open to it. You know, like seemed mm-hmm. to be like more okay. Part with of it, it is you've talked about this before. There's a stigma, especially with elders, because they yeah. grew up at a time where it's bad. Like you do drugs, you, right. do, you do dope. You're, yep. you're it was market- basically gutter trash. Society marketed yeah. it to you. You're as, scumbag. As, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. On the same level as a heroin or cocaine Man, or any other yeah. drug. You guys are nailing it yep. because, like in my house, and we've talked yeah. about this with your your pop pop. Because your pop pop, oh, yeah. old Florida, my dad, I'm, old Florida, but from Virginia. But my dad, I'm kind of glad. This sounds really weird, but I'm kind of glad my dad didn't live to see what it is now, and me like tooting it all the time. And play, <laughs> but like seriously, because yeah. he had a very yeah. He, my dad's the funniest guy in the world, and he would make some of the funniest jokes on this show that I've carried on. But he did not like. He thought it was bad, and he and he had, I think, a burned-in yeah. opinion yeah. that was on an unchangeable opinion. A burned-in, unchangeable opinion of people that smoked weed. And you're, you're I think he thought you were lazy if you did that, which yeah. is weird because I'm cut from him, and there's no way we can be lazy. It's just yeah. an impossibility. So, well, well, Mandy, let's talk about your journey because I mm-hmm. went to your website and I kind of read uh, about how you got into marijuana to begin with. Yeah. So uh, let's tell the audience. Yeah, uh, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, which is an autoimmune gut inflammation. I was 24, and I honestly I couldn't drink alcohol. 
and that was was the game changer for me. Yeah. I was like, what do I do? I, I, I have to go be social. I can't just go sober. So uh, I finally Heard. turned to, <laughs> yeah, I turned to cannabis. Um, I hated it though. I thought it was the devil's lettuce. I didn't touch it. I grew up in the Reagan era. So war against drugs. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I, mm. I was terrified of it. If you smoked it, I didn't want to be near you. Um, but then I kind of, I started producing events. I started to get more into the hospitality industry. So it was around a lot more. So I became way more comfortable with it. So then when I was diagnosed, it was offered to me and I said, okay, yeah, this is a nice substitute for drinking. And then I noticed it started to do things and I'm like, hold on, I'm hungry. I actually feel better. I think it's it's causing some good things in here more than just social lack of social anxiety. Right. Uh, So then I learned all about it. And then I wanted to teach everyone what I learned because I thought if people just knew the science of it, then it would just be accepted and there'd be no question anymore about it. So that's why I started educating and advocating. I feel you on the the Crohn's. I do not have Crohn's, but I do have, and my mo- mother had IBS. Mm-hmm. And there are specific strands that you can get, and different, yeah. the, and it really, really is a game changer. Oh, it makes your doo-doo solid. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can. I can. <laughs> For me, it's pain, though. It's the cramps. Regularity. I mean, you know, yeah. like, it just, ma- yeah, it works. Yeah. So speaking of marijuana mix with yoga and it making yoga better uh, it makes everything better Correct. and this, yeah. and this is yes. when I learned I, I, I remember the day I learned um, there was a BDM uh, helping me with a project like uh, often happens and it was uh, it was a, it was a BDMJ oh, he uh, uses his influence there's a lot of BDMJ he, he likes to use his influence <laughs> to take advantage of unfortunate uh, oh, IQ okay. people and he was over oh. doing concrete project <laughs> and just... with his uh, real man uh, I called them stone hands uh, concrete Concrete, uh, I think it was uh, like a uh, partner stone at the time. Yeah. And then he was an old real man with stone hands, and he like he, he was looking at the project. He's like, all right, we'll get started. I need five minutes to get my head right. Then he went to his truck and smoked a joint, smoked yeah, yeah, yeah. it fat, like smoked yeah, it in yeah. one hit, where it was like, and then and then immediately got to work uh, and then started doing hard ass manual so labor. Hold on, hey, yeah. hold on, is that where you stole the get to work? <laughs> yeah. Is this well, this came from? A lot of manual laborers do that. Yes. Like, yeah, my dad's an archaeologist, right? When I would go on digs with all these people, it's mindless, right? The work. So it, sometimes it helps you shut down focus. all of this, all the yeah, noise, yeah. and you can just focus Construction on Construction work. The and then, and then, gonna... yeah, if you're doing hard work, why not do it uh, under the influence of marijuana? It makes you feel better. Yeah. That's the day, I, I, because I never dawned on me like that, because I always Get your uh, head right. associated marijuana with chilling out, not doing hard-ass concrete work. I was like, right, because, right, right. I was, but then I was like, well, if it's going to be hard and uh, labor-intensive, you might as well be high. Then, that's when I realized I'm going to do everything high including yeah. there's a whole movement of like getting high and then going to the gym you going to the yeah. gym yeah. when i got covid i got high yeah. <laughs> and i was like this makes it better I mean, this whatever is, it is it's the only it makes way. everything better it's the only way i ride the peloton i don't do it in the morning yeah. if i do it but if i ride in the afternoons the yeah. peloton i smoke so I, much i get myself to a point where i'm like mega high and then i go up there <laughs> runners and then i just put well, yeah. on music i like and roll my bike it's yeah, awesome runners high so that's what i was just gonna say so thc actually directly mimics anandamide and Anandamide is an endocannabinoid. We make it ourselves in our body. And THC, which is a phytocannabinoid, meaning it comes from the plant, goes into our body and does the exact same thing as anandamide does. So Science. when you get high, well, we've been you it wrong are, for 20 you're years, mimicking you've been a cannabinoid. <laughs> cannabinoid. 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 <laughs> There's a million ways to say it. I think none of it's wrong. Yeah. Mm, I, I have heard <laughs> that, like, long <laughs> distance it. runners, marathon runners, they'll yeah. take, a li- yeah. the, take a little bit of THC yeah. and it helps them get I love it. The, uh, faster. It makes me get to a place where, like, for instance, on a longer ride, like on a 90-minute ride, or something where yeah. I'm going to nail, let's say I'm going to try and do like 50 miles or something, like when you get to that point where you're like, like almost like you don't want to do it anymore, it allows you to kind of uh, not think, just compartmentalize out. that. Yeah, 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 I yeah. can take the pain of my muscles and shove it into a tube and shoot it to the moon yeah. and I'm just still pedaling. Yep. Yeah. But, or just you know. the boredom of doing the same thing over and over and yeah. over. And it makes music sound better. So if you are yeah. listening to music that you've heard the same Nirvana song a hundred times, you're like, ah, maybe I'll just dig into the bass line here. Let's see what old Chris is playing on the baseline. <laughs> Seriously, it's, yeah. it, it helps me not necessarily focus, but it helps me separate 
yeah. the anxieties I have. So we're doing yoga. We're going to do it at the Acre. That's a great the, idea. The cool. first one's on the 24th. Yeah. How does that work as far as, like, do people have to show you their card yeah. when they walk in? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. They need their medical card. And then as long as you're in a private space where they allow you to consume, which we've been given permission to consume, then they we can... I hope it's oh, happening. Happening. You're You're all together. Together. You can smoke yeah. it there. Yeah. 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 I, thought they were, I thought you were going to send an email like, what remember, get happen? high before no, you get no. high. You, <laughs> you have to smoke your own medicine, though. Like Correct. This. Okay. So, it has to be prescribed to you. Yeah, yep. and we're working. No sharing blunts. Now, and we, I guess we could announce that we're I working. Think so, yeah. yeah, with cookies. Yeah, uh, the the disp- cookies dispensary. They're they're going to be uh, sponsoring the first quarter. So the mm-hmm. next three months, we're going to be working with just cookies. Uh, and you know, like a quarter bag. Pre-order <laughs> your medicine online, and it will be ready for you at the yoga class. What? With your little yes. Oh, on the that's good. Brendan O'Connor. Yeah. You are the man right. of the future. Yeah. Well, that's Mandy it. hooked that one up. That's it. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're also going to give you freebies to go back to their store because their store is a mile away from the Acre. So if you cool. attend the event, they're going to give you some coupons to go check out more stuff. Um, so uh, maybe I do this. <clears throat> it's so fun. 24th, twice a month. Okay. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Um, sometimes uh, I'll take too much. All right? yeah. and, um, and then when that happens... Um, what milligrams Mandy are you dealing with here? <laughs> no, not even that much. <laughs> Thank <I'm>, you. <laughs> you know, I, I lucked out because a lot of people aren't like this, yeah. and it takes a lot of THC to get them high. Uh, but I'm uh, lightweight, and I've always been a lightweight, even though I've been taking THC for five years now. Sure. Cheap date. Um, the, it, it just, I, it, like a 10 milligram pill... Uh, will get me just as high as it always did. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't, you know, like I don't step it up. I don't have to like take Love breaks it. or anything. Just to be able to move my skeleton, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> I'm on 475 <laughs> milligrams as I, yeah, yeah. So, as I said. No, I'm kidding. I'm, oh, I was like, no, I'm no, impressed. No, I'm sober. I'm Everything's <laughs> melting. <laughs> but here's what also will happen, Mandy. But I'm Mandy sure is a trick for you. For there's things that you could do if you're feeling too high. Okay. Well, okay. Let's talk. Okay. This, this put this that is, in your pocket. This is how it happens too, because it also gives you short term memory loss. Oh. Yeah. So I what? I'll take a ten milligram and Wait, then what are we talking I'll about? be sitting in the kitchen and be like, you know what I, I forgot to take my ten milligram today. Yeah. <laughs> you know yes. what I'm and then I'll go and yeah. I'll take it another one. I've been doing right? that with my Xanax. I've been waking up at Walmart parking lot <laughs> <laughs> with my pants off. And then, and then as I'm swallowing it I'm and like me walking away. <laughs> I think I already took one. <laughs> So and then in I'll, a bear suit. I'll eat something super fatty uh, or oh. greasy, which oh. seems to be the time bomb. No, that's the fuse lighting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I'll. It, it's almost What's like the question here. Well, <laughs> he's getting to it. <laughs> it's just a long story. <laughs> this isn't your first time here, Brennan. You know how this is how it goes. Yeah, yeah, this is a long. Okay, story. okay, okay. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I'm I love, receiving. Uh, I love that Brendan is protecting his friend from us. <laughs> Other friends. He's like, hold on, I know how to navigate this. Hold on. This is a long story. I'll get you out of this. So then I'll be in a bike ride with my family. Right? Right. But that's the best yeah. place to be on. You know, that's what you would think. But then all of a sudden, I'll look it's around nice. and then I'll be like, I don't know where I am. <laughs> like and I, I have, have my family to protect. Like I have lost direct, like I've lost memory of my own neighborhood. <laughs> and and would you eat a couple of cubes, <laughs> cubes of cheddar cheese and it lit yeah. the fuse? And, and you can't let mind? Crystal know. No, no, I'm hiding this. <laughs> Oh. I was going to tell you she that, Mandy. Knows. Mandy no, like, she the doesn't. whole point of this is like <laughs> this is to hide his paranoia because you get you get yeah. popped a lot, oh, don't yeah. you? Yeah, she's got crow's disease. <laughs> <laughs> not crow's. She knows it's all, not crow's. It's not and we won't help it. It's uh, crow's. Anyway, and then I'll uh, it in, internally I'll be a crow's. Like, <laughs> very disrespectful to our guests, but I thought it was funny. I'll <laughs> be level ten panic attack. This happening, and externally I'm just a guy riding a bike with a with. <laughs> it's but, way more complicated than that. And then all I have to, I'm like, just ride it out, ride okay. the lightning, yeah. you know? And yeah. sometimes I try I'll to teach him. him that because I'm the opposite. I'm the guy who likes to get too high, and I'm like, this is where I like to oh, live. I, lost yeah. I like to live yeah. in the, oh, on the line. Yeah. yeah. Because so, I have so much anxiety. That it makes sense that it's when I get up there, I'm more normal because yeah. I'm like, oh man, the crazier it is, that that's my normal. <laughs> so, yeah, is there yeah. any antidote uh, to that extreme high paranoia? So, there's there's a little controversy in regards to this. So, people will tell you just take some CBD. Mm-hmm. Um, so, CBD actually sits on your receptors like a blanket. THC locks and binds like a key. So, if you take CBD, the THC cannot lock and bind, so you don't get as euphoric. 
that's why there's ratioed products mm. out there. So some people will tell you, oh, if you're too high, if you're taking too much THG, just take some CBD, it'll even it out. I disagree with that because THC is already locked and bound. So what is CBD going to go in there and do? Uh, I've tried that. It makes me more high. I was going to say, right, <laughs> right. Maybe, so, maybe it just won't make you higher, but you're not. it's not going to bring you no, down. No, it's not. Yeah. No, there's also a rumor that you can chew pepper. Yeah, um, that's what are, I've always heard. Yeah. all coming up in the yeah. chat room. I yeah. just try to pepper, smoke myself till my pepper, eyes yeah. shut. <laughs> I just keep tooting until my eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, t- I turned it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just throw as much in. Yeah, black pepper has caryophyllene, which is a terpene that is found in cannabis naturally. Um, but people say if you chew it, it brings down the effect. Same thing, though. If the THC is locked and bound, there's really not much that can interrupt that. So I think what chewing pepper does is it just distracts you. It takes your mind off of it. Uh, so I tell you to play a song. I tell you to riding on the bike and just staying as focused as you can and getting out of your head is really the best way for it to, well, to go Well, two down. problems. He can't focus and he can't get out of his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's when he's not even high. You really were naming the ride only things he can't do. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta ride it the best you oh, can. man. <laughs> You're screwed, Tom. I, I do <laughs> like to also imagine the scenario of, like, Chris is, like, uh, banging on the bathroom door. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, someone's in here. Don't come in. And she bangs. She opens the door, and there's a bunch of ground pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just, it's like, falling oh, out, out of your mouth. mouth. <laughs> I'm trying to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, unscrew the I can't balls. imagine that. I mean, I do love fresh cracked pepper, but uh, holy <laughs> smoke. <laughs> is, yeah. is, there, is there a dosing trick that maybe he could... Like, he could do or so the first mistake is forgetting that you for- you took one to begin with uh, <laughs> write it on your hand like memento <laughs> you gotta write it on your hand yeah like right write it down get the, get the, the little pill cases yeah you know you just pop your little gummy them. in there oh that's what um, old people have I yeah. have one of those I have one of those too yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and fat THC attaches to fat so it's gonna process quicker that's why jelly roll gets so high you yeah. know people didn't don't believe me when <laughs> I true. tell them that I'm like if you uh, eat something super fatty it'll like the even if it's like you're not high anymore from an edible you had uh, three hours ago. It'll uh, it it'll, it'll, it'll reignite it in your yeah. system. You're like, like, look at these. Give me the cheese. Mango does that, too. Mango? Hey. Mango has uh, mycine in it, which is also a terpene found in cannabis, but it boosts it instead of knocks it down. That's why mango. we put it in our yeah. stanky, danky, hazy IPA. <laughs> yeah. That's why you went mango. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so I'm learning a lot today, dude. <laughs> this is great. And uh, and then also, uh, I have learned, and I keep telling myself this, and I don't know if uh, we uh, we even know the truth yet, but like everything in life. Like uh, aliens? There there, well, no, yeah, yeah. Exactly. there's uh, um, there's no free lunch. So everything that's good comes... No, they have free lunch at Macy's School. They have it. <laughs> yeah, no, they have it it's at Casper's School. It's called that. Every like, school has yeah. free lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Free so they have free say that like somebody <laughs> paid for it. I know, I hear like, that all the time. Saying. And you know, you know what I caught Maisie doing? I caught Ma- Maisie was getting her lunch, and she's so hungry because, like Top says, she's an athlete. I caught her going in and getting the second uh, lunch. She doesn't need free lunch. She's she, rich. Dude, she gets free lunch. Well, why does she get free lunch? COVID. I know how much you're taking away work. from the poor no, kids. No, and during COVID, they were giving her free breakfast and free lunch. Wow. During COVID. Oh, I'm going to make a call to stop that. <laughs> 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 anyway, my point is... No, it's like when you go to Catholic school and everybody's in a uniform. You know, like it's an equal footing. If everybody's on free lunch, then nobody can pick on the kid who's on free lunch. Yeah, no, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that makes sense. Uh, you know, not to bring it down, but, I, but go yeah, ahead and make a call. You, really, you really were tugging on my aorta there, oh! a little bit. Just fingering your aorta. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I often tell people, like my wife, when she's like, uh, "Are you sh- she be taking marijuana this much all the time?" And then, when do, do you guys honestly huh? have these conversations? Because like you can probably guess that Andrea has never said anything about it to me because she's afraid that I'm going to fly off the handle and destroy the house <laughs> because I'm an angry maniac. No, I'm not. But but yeah. like it's never come up. Well, uh, you but, must show. You, do, do you, you must take a lot more than me. No, 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 no. <laughs> she, I mean, Crystal's all. I mean, she's vegetarian. She's like a oh, clean living. Yeah, you know, take nothing. Living. This is clean living. Well, that's what I tell her. I'm like. I'm like, no, there is... This is plants. It's vegetarian. You can uh, eat. Now, I understand maybe... She's probably worried that she she has to stay straight 
because you're, you know, to make sure Don't the kids are alive. Oh, yeah, that's what he yeah. oh, no, 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 no. This guy forgets to brush his kids' hair. <laughs> I, I got to be the babysitter all I the time. I see the look in Andrea's eyes when she's like, I'm the one that has to stay sober. Yeah. Oh, this idiot. So I, I tell <laughs> not only my wife, but uh, like family members, anybody that ever asked me about, uh, like, you know, you're taking uh, THC. Oh, they you know, ask? Or, or if I tell them and they're like, well, you should be, uh, you should be taking that much. Anyway, I'm like. How much are you taking for them? to ask you that's like 20 30 milligrams that's a day, day. that's it's fine yeah, yeah. The, no i know it's fine but anyway they, but they well, that's a lot they uh are just they uh are I you guess, just sitting on the couch covered in filth no, no no i'm just saying <laughs> like maybe that is, i tell me it's too much <laughs> thc can never hurt you there is no downfall whatsoever from taking ingesting thc except Nates. that you get lost in your own neighborhood <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah, well, i'm saying but there's no doubt there's that's it's not treat, gonna hurt though. your body that's at all treat. Uh, so is not that his, true? Not his family. <laughs> is that true, Mandy? Uh, it, it's pretty close to true. Um, there really are not a lot of adverse effects with THC. Typically, it's more uh, an effect with maybe another medication that you're taking. So uh, chemotherapy, for example, not a good idea to take edibles. It gets processed by your liver and it just doesn't interact. It could uh, dull the effects of the chemotherapy. Um Cannabis is also THC is a vasodilator, meaning it opens your blood vessels. That's why your eyes will get red when you smoke. Um, so it lowers blood pressure. So sometimes with cardiac medicines, there can be some adverse effects. But by itself alone, typically not. Everyone's different. Everyone's endocannabinoid system is like a fingerprint. Yeah. So I always recommend going low and slow to learn to trust the plant and trust yourself. But really, there are not a ton. Um, you Tolerance breaks are real. Uh, if you do consume a lot, your receptors, the number of receptors in your body will actually go down in number. And that's why you need more product to feel that same effect. Oh, I know. I'm peeling. I'm, I'm buying about yeah. a cart. <laughs> yeah. I buy two carts a day. <laughs> full, I, bu- I take a full gram da- <laughs> right down yeah. there. Daily. Daily. No, I don't. It's not that bad. But I do need to take a tolerance break. And I was going to ask you. I'm glad you're, yeah. you're kind of dovetailing into that. I, I was gonna, That was going to be my question because I talked to Sam about it. Let's talk about that because I, I yeah. hear it in the BDM group. I hear a lot of our listeners ask, like, what is the proper way to do it? Yeah. Traditionally, I use um, like a vape product, you mm-hmm, know, and mm-hmm. occasionally like 10 milligrams, just like Tom. So what would be the easiest way for me to try and take a break to get the most out of my marijuana? Yeah. So when you take a break, your receptors actually come back. So there's no permanent damage to anything. Your body just goes right back. It's just saying, hey, we're animals and we're hunting and we're doing things. You can't be high all the time. Um, so with a taller... Holler- but I bet hunting high is really fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it makes everything you see better. see it in your faces. Yeah. You, you both are like, hunting high. Yeah, we were both planning on, we were planning the first ever Tom and Dan stoner uh, deer hunting expedition. The problem is you lose your gun. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, where are you going? You know what that's called? Everybody? The but- Val Demings. <laughs> oh, but... Yeah, what? But <laughs> did they get it? They got it back. Right? Oh. No, it, it's still gone. It's missing still. Oh my gosh! But yeah, so you don't have to stop cold turkey. Um, that's a really big shock to your system. If your body's used to having it, it could also cause you know, it's like taking coffee away from someone that drinks it oh, every so single ta- day. So oh, so you'd be like irritable. So, yeah, so you can, yeah, you'll get irritable. You get annoyed when they say, "Are you addicted to cannabis?" It, I equate it to caffeine, same same level. Sure. Um, but you can go down in what you consume, so you can go if you're normally smoking flour maybe you're smoking a distillate vape pen instead um if you're normally doing concentrate maybe you're smoking a joint instead okay um so you just go less on your milligrams sure. and maybe consume a little bit less maybe instead of 10 inhales they're smoking the whole joint you're only smoking half of it and that will bring your receptors back as i've well. noticed that with the haptic i use a, a true leaf true pod with the haptic yeah the, the beep mm-hmm. you know it's like, it's not a beep it's like a vibration oh, like a measured yeah. Inhale. Yeah, yeah like a measured inhale and mm. i notice that i'm just i keep sucking that thing like crazy I'm yeah, like, yeah. I do three full. <laughs> I can pull that thing. My, three I, vibrations. I, yeah. I, oh, I can uh, every time. Wow. I can do a full ten second yeah, yeah. inhale, and then when I blow out, it looks like I'm blowing out a cartoon snowman. It's a, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's yeah. huge. Yeah, and it's you huge. also don't have to stop for a long time. There's also, a, you know, that you twenty minutes smoke. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm up there. I feel great. Right. 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 If you're normal, at it. every five, then yes. Yeah. Um, but no, you really don't have to stop for you know a month or so. Your receptors start coming back after just a couple of days. Oh wow! So even just a week or you know ten days, you're usually. That's fantastic. Gosh, you're something. smart, Mandy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, no, seriously, this is like <laughs> questions that we've always asked, but we've yeah. always got not really an answer. Well, we, we get... ask our stoner listeners, and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> you know what? She's right. <laughs> Thank you, producer. Well, I saw well TikTok. Said. Yeah, yeah. They tell I've been smoking of... my whole life. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. Bunch of mumbo jumbo. They also soak tampons. They're the ones who told me cannabinoids. They also <laughs> soak tampons in vinegar and put them in their buttholes. Come on. Uh, so, Mandy, <laughs> what is your website in case anybody wants to contact you? Yeah, it's Florida Florida Marijuana Mentor. Oh, I thought you were going to say FloridaManRadio.com. <laughs> <laughs> that still exists? Uh, it does. does. Okay. It doesn't it? No, it does. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just can't. Is Tater Hayes still uh, I'm not oh, allowed on his show. Around. That's what I know. Oh, it's Shannon Burke's channel. <laughs> no, I know, but is Tater Hayes still kicking I around? I tried to listen to it, but I can't even get it in my house, Florida Man. I can't. <laughs> Who's going to radio their house? I just don't. Re- <laughs> no, Real Radio told us we can't go on their show. That's what I was told. Oh, yeah. I got an email. I was like, I don't have a contract. That was because of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole thing for a medium <laughs> show. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, if um, you can't do it, we were the real. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, good yeah. to know. Podcasting, yeah. uh, going to contract events restructuring, oh, okay. events drunk was <laughs> yeah, um, working out of contract. Yeah, that's yeah. Just working pushing out of the con- conversation yeah. forward. We're those guys. <laughs> um, and so, and the uh, how do you sign up for the yoga? We're about to launch the event. Right, we're just okay. we're going to have a meeting tonight yeah. to talk about the because uh, because. Cookies is so excited. They just sent us an email of a million things that they would like to do to help activate the this, event. Which this is going to be great. Man. They're apparently like the best uh, sponsor you've ever w- wanted Literally. for an event because they really want to activate it. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to go through that list and then yeah. hopefully launch. I would love to launch tonight. We haven't had that talk. Yeah. The people that want to yeah. be there are the best people, right? I like, think so. Yeah. We're capping it at 50 people for the first yeah. uh, for the first oh, couple. Up quick. That's intimate. So and you our, just like follow Bungalow or on well, social media yeah, for the info? If you're a Bungalow or Buddy, you're oh. gonna get the link All first. Right, cool. Um maybe we could send a link to the BDMs too. Okay. Yeah, since y- y- y'all are always so nice to us. Oh. But, yeah, well, get your, it opens to the your guys first, and then yeah, if there's yeah. anything left, maybe we can jump in there. All right, uh, cool. I know yeah. Sam and I are definitely interested in cool. trying to hook yeah, up with you guys. I would yeah. love to work with you guys and at least try it once. Selfishly, it's because I haven't done yoga in forever, too. So this is a uh, well, I'm bad right. at it. I'll and, have to go this And time. I get a lot out of it. I do it on my own, but I'm like, I like doing it on my own because I'm so bad at it. Uh-huh. And I'm so stiff. But it's, yeah, it's definitely beneficial. You and me, we could be at the back of the class. Sure. Smoking dudes. I love it. <laughs> and just bending it might be our the bodies. Only way, like, honestly, if there was only one way you could get Tom to go and do yoga with us, this might be the only one you'd come to. If I'm like, hey, they already brought your marijuana there, dude. All you got to do is just drive over. Just show up. Right. And you'd be like, what? Or take a lift. I'm going to heart heavily encourage taking a, a ride share. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know, drop me off. Swag. But, uh, the, or carpool. I'm embarrassed by how stiff I am, Andy. Yeah, me too. Um, I, but this will help. Uh, yeah, but uh, you think everyone that's going to be there is going to be a yoga? Look at this! Yeah. No, this but, fat tub right here. No, no big old hairy no. thumb. No, no, you uh, are way more no, uh, limber no, than I am, no, Brennan, for no. sure. You're just saying that because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you I am. am. Hold, on. Hold on, I have to defend that because I do believe gay people are more limber than stupid old homo. Heteros, what are we called? Heteros, heteros. I was going to call stupid old homos. Like, Don't say that. I was like, that's them. Yeah, We're yeah, the stupid yeah. old heteros. Yeah, yeah. My straightness makes me stiff it by does. the second. It does. And we have, and you know like scarecrow. I think it's because... No gay scarecrow, by the way. I think it's because... You, you, see the way they you clearly did not want the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm just refusing to go in dance. <laughs> that, Touché. That like, retract. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the only actor that they did. That's one for Brendan. In the 1920s. <laughs> and Brendan. the lion. We don't need to talk about the lion. Oh, man. Yeah, the also lion. Gay. Would you come back to do the show again? I, like, yes. I'd thank you too. so much for doing it. I'm sorry yeah. to Having me. We, this is we, fantastic. we blew uh, we when you first walked in we blew your hat off I apologize it was very <laughs> rude we uh, but now that you know what we're about and you know that we are uh, we're big uh, marijuana p- proponents uh, and it was very nice to meet you thanks nice for coming you. in thank you for having Yay, me. Friends oh, we, uh, meeting we're friends. up against the break right you want yeah. to get that ready while you <laughs> yeah we'll take a break uh, when we come back we'll talk to Brendan about what he did uh, throughout the Christmas break and a uh, holiday break. And uh, I got something to bitch about. Um, of course, you about did. my triathlon. <laughs> and sometimes we get really, really cool stuff. And this one's really, really cool. Um, one of the largest bands in the world has a brand new single out today. It is called "Beautiful People." I'm talking about the band, the Black 
keys from their upcoming album Ohio Players. Um, this song's really cool too because Greg Kernston from um, uh, Bird and the Bee, who also produced Lily Allen, he's on this. Um, uh, I think Noel Gallagher helped with the song. Beck helped write this song. Um, so this is a brand new song from the Black Keys. It better be good. It's typical Black Keys. You'll like it. We'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Streamline Mortgage Solutions, StreamlineFlorida.com. If you go to StreamlineFlorida.com, there is a Tom and Dan logo. You click on that, and Brian Zymel's cell phone number is there, and you can call them anytime, text them anytime uh, for any mortgage questions. Yeah, mortgaging, uh, the mortgage business, buying, selling a home. These are all things that, like, I mean, you guys know me. You listen to the show. You know yep. I don't like these sort of things. Brian, when I when I came in there, because I'm basically as clueless as you get with those type, type of things, yeah. he just sat me down, and he, he just, like, got a blank piece of paper and said, let's start here, and he explained the entire process. Brian's a great dude, and yeah, like Tom said, he'll answer all of your questions. Do the best business decision for you and your family, uh, and I. the rumor is the interest rates are changing at the end of the I year am, or I middle of the year, yeah. and uh, so just talk to Brian. Come up with a plan. So if you're looking to buy or sell a house, I mean, you may want to do it before. Talk about a plan. You could do it now, refi out of that. Sure. Uh, there's lots. Of, they also they are, are back doing home equity lines of credit, so if you have a bunch of equity in your house and you want to maybe uh, redo something, sure. take that and money out. And a lot out. of people do. And, yeah. uh, and For again, a business or anything. Yeah, and you're never going to know that you have options unless you, you get a yeah. hold of Brian and see your options. Free to talk to him. Absolutely. Uh, and he'll review everything he needs to review and let you know your options. Mm-hmm. And that's the best thing to do is be prepared in case you are looking to buy or sell a and house. And that's coming from the two guys you know and trust that never prepare for yeah. anything. <laughs> it's StreamlineFlorida.com. It all comes back around. That was Teens in Trouble, and that sounds like any song I would have been listening to when I was a teen in trouble. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. I was never a teen in trouble. I was a good bully. <laughs> you never got uh, in trouble, arrested? Not uh, a, I got detained at college. You know that story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But as a, For as what? A, hanging outside someone's window? Uh, underage drinking at Flagler College. I was oh. 19 at a party, and they detained me because I was running from the police. I got kicked out of Pleasure Island at 19. No, oh, yeah. Ooh, I bet you were doing something more Underage fun. Underage drinking. Ah, oh, okay. Same Fondling thing. Fondling my manager. Yeah. <laughs> Girl boy. 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 Usually yeah. it's oh. the other way around. The manager's fondling the employee. I, I definitely sexually harassed my manager. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll delete that too. We got a lot to, I got a lot to do today. Oh, let me mention a brand new advertiser we have this year, uh, the current seafood counter in yeah, College man. Park. Oh, uh, love it. Yeah. If you're looking. Mike Smith. So yeah, Mike good, Smith. Dude. That uh, sandwich I had over there, that my my sandwich. Yeah. They're uh, the yeah. fish and chips. I'll start, you're you're yeah, talking no, about I'll no, shut up. no, no, please. Uh, lobster rolls, like all northeast, yeah. uh, and then northeast Hush puppies. Um, themed, Hush puppies. Uh, That's my favorite. Craft beers too. <laughs> then yeah. they, they got craft beer. They got liquor. Full liquor bar, yeah. Uh, and by the way, if you uh, uh, mentioned, you know, let me get a Tom and Dan pint, pint glass. You can get a, a craft beer in a Tom and Dan pint glass for free. They'll hook oh. you up. They got all the staples like the clam strips and the peel it eat shrimp. I mean, those are the things yeah. that like it's for good. me personally. I can't go to like a fish house unless you do have pinlini shrimp and clam strips and like fish. You got to have like and a fish sandwich. And I know I've said this like three yeah. times this week, but it's got to have <laughs> onion, lettuce, tomato. It has to. There's no exception. If I go to your fish like house or fish store and it doesn't come out with a toasted bun with lettuce, tomato, onion, it's wrong. It's just wrong. I hear people don't like the onion touching the tomato. You gotta, it's got to go tomato, lettuce, onion. I'm really? Not, I'm I've never quite, heard that. I'm not quite that picky. I just got to have any okay. combination of all three on the bun. All right. But I got to have that. And I'm, for me, I like a little bit of tartar on the top. I, I'm not trying to mask the fish taste. I just like a little essence. And their fish taste delicious. It is so good, dude. Yeah. And Sick it is boy. a quick service restaurant. Yeah. But yeah. My, how many times did they come over and check on us and make sure oh, yeah. we had like they were so like overly nice where normally when yeah. you're going out to places to eat sometimes like you could barely get anyone to come to the counter and newsflash yeah. 
incognito. We were secret shopping. Yeah, it, we were. And nobody knew that it was locked. Yeah, they even offered us uh, lunch beers. Yeah, they and did. Tom told us we couldn't get them. Yeah, Tom was like, <laughs> we're going to get to work. Like, we got to go back, back to the, the studio. Yeah, yeah. He did. The guy offered, he's like, you guys want some beers? It looks like, and we're like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Sam and I perked up. Tom's like, get to work. And they shut it down. Uh, we were getting drink in the middle of the day. We had to get back here. We used to drink with our, in the middle of the day. Um, used to be a funner show. Yeah, it really was. Daddy Tom. Uh, He's actually right. We couldn't have done that. Um, (laughs) So what did you do over the break, Brendan? I worked. I always work over the break. I don't don't go home for Christmas. You know, I don't go up to... I don't like to go to Canada in the winter because it's a nightmare. Yeah. Generally, they don't have much snow this this year, but generally it's like you can't do anything. You just end up looking at everybody, you know, sitting in a house, staring at people, which I'm good. I I like to go up in the summer and we can actually do stuff. I've never really thought about that with my Canadian friends, and I do have a lot of friends from Canada, and yeah... It's funny they're all here. <laughs> I yeah. never thought of that. I'm like, why are they here? Oh yeah, every yeah. yeah. I bet you we lose probably like a third of the country in the winter. They yeah, all go yeah. other, other places. I don't know. I just made that number up, but but it's like that. It's yeah because yeah. if you can't go outside, it is kind of a bummer. It's crazy. <laughs> I did a lot of drag. You know, I worked a lot of events. Nice. Uh, there was an incident with I was watching John travels all the time. Now he makes big bucks. With, mm. with Mo, so he You're gets... You're talking about Bus Decker, right? Bus Decker. That's why he's grilling those hot dogs out of the <laughs> tailgate. <laughs> he's earn the money. He's getting $12 He doesn't want to lose that good gig. So I, I showed up. I was watching his chickens. I had to show up to let his chicken... Or put his chickens up for the night, but I was in drag. Hold on. And I, <laughs> we got a chicken sitter? You didn't chickens, know that... I was chicken sitting. I knew you had chickens, okay. but I just was like, yeah, they can take care of themselves. Yeah. No, <laughs> well, you got to walk... You got to close the door behind them at night. Uh, or the I thought you were going to say you got to walk them, and I was like, eh, eh. I, I just, would walk them. I just watched both chicken runs this week. Oh, I haven't oh seen the new one. Will, will a raccoon uh, kill a chicken? Oh, yeah. 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 Possums. No, it'll They'll rip sit, it apart. It'll just sit next to it. Have a, <laughs> just a standard what? animal conversation. It, it just seems like a chicken Talk about politics. versus a raccoon, like the raccoon. And coyotes. I think a yeah. raccoon. Here's a coyote what I, I understand. Here's what I think about raccoons. The raccoons, a coyote versus. Trash. Well, coyote versus trash raccoon. Panda. The coyote is going to take that chicken in his mouth and he's going to do what my dog Dansby does with yeah, any chicken. Shake it to And do the shaky, shaky, shaky to the thing's limp. They will but a raccoon it. has like human like yeah. hands. So I could see a raccoon walking up to a chicken and sticking its finger in its ass. Or something. Like a raccoon, Are you strangling it? Yeah, like I could see a raccoon do something. Slapping like, it a little bit. Yeah, I could see a raccoon doing something yeah. a bit more human. Yeah, why are you hitting yourself, chicken? Why are yeah, you hitting yourself? Exactly. Like holding it down you know, and shitting yeah. on it. Or... I rolled up and there was a cop there, though. A bus I, bus house? House, uh, and I was in drag. I knew it. We're I looking for a... child porn. Wait a minute, you were in full tip. drag checking full on chickens. Drag. Got <laughs> a tip on child porn. Look, there's a drag queen. Maybe he knows. <laughs> we got she knows. <laughs> that's exactly. That's actually kind of exactly <laughs> oh, what happened. What? We got the body cam footage too. I haven't shared it yet, but I, I roll. You can see on the footage. I roll up. I, I f- fold my giant man body out of my car <laughs> and a sequin gown and the big pink Is poofy there a hair. Problem here? And the police officer didn't say anything weird. And I was just uh, going in the house and he, he gets out and he's like, Excuse me, miss? Like, do you live here? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, No, no, my friend lives here. I was just checking his chickens, which sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> 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 Hold on. You know what it is? Hold on. I got to give you one of those. Just checking his chickens. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Like, I wonder... I'll send you the video. I bet the BDMs will love it. Like, cops, <laughs> cops see a lot of odd scenarios. He didn't say a, anything bad. He was very nice <laughs> to me. Yeah. I was flirting hard because he was hot as fuck. Uh, <laughs> did he know? Uh, what? Oh, that wait. I was a man? Yeah, you He's got to, a beard. Yeah, oh, beard. Never mind. Never mind. Also, you can see in the video from... I didn't realize how... Uh, hunchbacked I am, but I was oh. I was walking. I'm like this. Well, you're creeping around his house <laughs> in, my, <laughs> in, my, in, my, in my high like, heels. I would have thought for <laughs> sure you're a burglar. Well, you were just <laughs> like, walking why? like Gru from uh, Despicable Me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was me. Well, I kind of look like Gru. If, if if my business partner asked me to check his chickens, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't I'm, do that, dude. I'm not going to no, ask you to check anything. But uh, and I'm in a full I'll tuxedo. <laughs> like I'm, I'm going to wait until my workout day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, I'm not going to go on my Gotta do it and at night. Full, Six o'clock. Yeah, but in your full regalia. But he had some place to go. I there. had. I was working. I had two gigs, and so I had to check the chickens yeah, between the checking gigs. Chickens on the go. And may, otherwise, they'd get eaten. And then I and I like looking after his chickens. I think they're super cool. But and I'm like clopping around, like p- poking holes in his lawn because I got high heels on and walking <laughs> through the good grass. For the chickens, though. <laughs> yeah. That kind of stuff. That was my Christmas break. <laughs> That's okay. a pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. How many chickens does he have? Three now. What oh, are their okay. names? They slightly disappear. I don't know. 
I don't they do slightly that. disappear. Yeah, like things happen. Yeah, like, like coyotes. Coyotes. Most of the people I know that, that, that have either. chickens. Yeah. That is the it, you can't. Oh. They got Puerto they, Ricans living next door. What does that mean? Chickens disappear sometimes. Racist gay guy. Racist gay guy. You just made some of our listeners super confused. I virtually said someone just had a heart attack. I said I wouldn't listen to those shows, but now I. It's the only shows I want to. Um, so, uh, Brendan, let me ask you a question. So, I love questions. Um, <laughs> question one. Better I'm than doing. Puerto Ricans. <laughs> Puerto Ricans. Because no. uh, I know what Daniel will feel about this, and I know what Sam will you feel. You don't know what I'm just feel kidding. About I don't know, even know if Puerto Ricans eat chickens. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I, uh, don't he's do backtracking now. Don't, don't do damage control. Here to get in trouble it's about the acre not in college park. Fine. Just blame it on me. I know. I'm getting emails out. <laughs> the acre's not college park. It's everyone needs credit for their neighborhood. No, no. Oh, my uh, God. No, no. Get over no, it. All our listeners just laugh at racism. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get mad at it. Because they're all white. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, no, no, no. Even the non-whites are racist. <laughs> um, so, Sometimes they're the worst. Um uh, I said that I was going to do this triathlon in June, uh, Brennan. Right? I'm not going yes. to. I'm not going to let you do this. Um, oh, you're backing out now. No, no, what? I'm not oh, backing okay. out. I didn't hear. So you I was. Them. I was reading about someone saying they think they're. Right wingers think that they're gay because they agree with me. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and yeah, you so, got five months to go. Yeah, yeah. And so they. Uh, the, so what was the question? I didn't hear the, the preamp. The, the question is: He agreed to do a triathlon no. in June. Oh, so, awful. That, so it's coming up. Okay. A, and um, part of the triathlon is obviously riding a road bicycle. Uh-huh, right? uh-huh. And, uh huh. And so Roadie. I got a one from my brother in law. He gave me his old road bo- bicycle. Little fixie with your with your no, feet walking. This is no. A, this is a decent a, bike, right? Yeah. Is it a specialized? I, I it's, uh, yeah, I think it's a Fuji. I don't know. Yeah, Fuji yeah. makes a great bike. So um, I don't know anything about it. Now I've never even ridden a road bike. So uh, does it make you gay? Is that what you're asking? No, no, no. The, okay. As a kid, I thought the road bikes <laughs> of the skinny tires were gay. I'm just I gotta I have to Ooh, be on dainty the, little tires. I have, to be, I have to be on the board today. And so my <laughs> other brother-in-law, who's the Iron Man, who's married to another Iron ro- Iron Woman. Uh, Do you have to say that she's a trainer? I feel like. Both of them are Iron Men. I, yes, I, yeah. That, uh, I don't just don't know. Like, like, I don't know. I don't like uh, when you say Iron. Iron woman. people. I, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Iron um, Giant. She told me first thing: go Love get your bike fitted because that's what you have to do be, to fit it to your own. Yeah, to make sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. The frame matches your crotch. Yeah, yeah, yeah the whole thing. Yeah. That's right. And yeah. uh, and I was like, all right, the seat, the steering, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, obviously the steering wheel. <laughs> all right, off to a bad. The side. handlebars, <laughs> um, and then the frame, yeah, whatever wheels. And <laughs> Whatever. And so I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So I call, so I look it up. I call. I now I, I didn't look up the specifics. I just the first place near my house. I was like, bike store. I called. I was like, do you do bike fits? <laughs> like, yes, bike we store. do. I owe you the bike store to show them like a Harley Davidson store. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your brother. And the this uh, is Iron Horse. What's up? <laughs> The guy texts me back. He's like, "All right, I'm the man. I do the fitting." And he starts uh, like uh, organizing an appointment. He's like, "Show up at this time for your fitting. Bring right? your bike." And so I'm like, "Okay." Uh, in in my mind, I'm expecting. All right, it's like you know, you go there and then they adjust your seat and then your uh, handle uh, handlebars uh-huh, and, uh-huh. and they're like, "All right, uh, fifty bucks, right?" Uh, and so uh, he, you, you got to ask ahead of time, Tom. I asked ahead of time, and I'm like, "Well, okay." Before I show up, how much is this? He's like three hundred bucks, Whoa. and I was like three hundred. And so then I was like, well, I'm like, uh, this guy must be the, you Comes know. the blowjob, though. The Central <laughs> Florida <laughs> Lance Armstrong. Like, what? No Wait, money. You try it once just to see how good the blowjob is. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe I contacted Central Florida's Lance Armstrong or some sort Do of. Do they swap pro. out parts, though? Like, like what are they? Well, if he needs them, this is just to show you how out of this world like I am. Like, handlebar add-ons? Yeah, and like, well, like spacers and stuff like that. I'm yeah. a, I, I'm, I guess, eh, loosely considered a cyclist, but I was back in the day. I Has got a bike, Peloton? but um, I ride the Peloton now. But no, I've I've rode bike. I've oh, okay. rode bikes. I have okay. a ton of bikes. But Jackal in the chat room says that that's pretty cheap. And I did not know that. I'm out of this world because three hundred dollars to me sounds like, like a, a lot, lot yeah. of money. So that doesn't include that's the man hours though. That doesn't include like the things that you're going to need to get. 
No, no, no. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just no, a consultation, it yeah, and yeah. then they it's you time. and then you you sit on the bike, and they adjust your seat and okay. your uh, handlebars. Needed, though, needed. God, yeah, people no. are saying, do you get a bike with that price, dude? Bikes are way so, more expensive. Guess than what? That. Triathlon. So bikes, at yeah. first, right. I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. I like, I, what, what's the chances I contacted the most expensive person? Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Well, I even <laughs> told him that I was like, three hundred bucks. That sounds way high. Then I was like, no, thank you, sir. And then he did the passive aggressive thing. He's like, you'll be back. Oh, really? Well, no, no. I he was, did the uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, but he no, he was justified. Had a guy at PetSmart do that to me. He's but like, you did it. He's like, no, no, no. I have no, I have not done it. I, but he, he was like, this is how much it costs. And I'm like, yeah, right. So then I, I started. <laughs> yeah, right. it's not worth that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then I start. Fuck you. I start, and that, and other places are more. So that's the going rate to get the bike fitted. I did not know that, dude. So my I'm question. Sorry, I should have. I haven't got to the question yet. Okay. No, sorry. Yeah, well, <laughs> do I think it's worth it? So yes, do you think it's worth it? Yeah. How long the How long is the pedaling part of the triathlon? It's only uh, twelve miles. Um, that's so, a good. That's the how long How long will that take you? I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> you haven't been practicing? No. Uh, it shouldn't yeah, yeah. take you more than an hour. I've never actually ridden. I, I've gotten on the station. It hurts, by the way, because I'm not fit to yeah, it. Not fit. <laughs> yeah, because you're not fit. I've never. It, it'll hurt more. Imagine the chafing. I've never know? I've never even ridden a road bike in my entire life. So you've never ridden a skinny tire bike? Oh, no, man, never in my life. <laughs> and biking happens so poorly. after <laughs> swimming. I'm going to this. Is it you run, you swim, you? then going. you bike? Yeah. Should I no, go to swim? I'm Film this. The swim, bike, run. <laughs> swim, bike, run. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to be wet when you're on your bike. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> as wet as you like? <laughs> How wet do you want them on the bike? Do they provide the swimming wet. cap for you? Do you have to buy your own? I don't buy your own. Uh, I think you, you have, have to. to. You have to wear that. No, have no, a number no, on no, it so no. they know where you're at. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's got a chip in it. I'm going to knock it off. <laughs> I, would I would too. I would too. I'd start swimming and then I'd take my hand and I'd take my finger right up the side of my temple and I'd finger that thing right where, off. Where are you swimming? Pop right off. It is the intercoastal. It's over in Melbourne. But my question oh. really. Oh, God. The whole chat room sharks. wants to go now. Are we, yeah. we going to do a No one's going to go. Are you scared Can of sharks? It's You're, a no one's unofficial to go. Tom and No. Uh, I mean, I can, uh, dude, I can get 70 people in the chat room. Are right you going to no, bring go, the shark spray? But the shark spray. So do you he, have shark spray here? I don't know, sharks. I'm not worried. In the sharks. intercoastal? Yeah, no, no, no. There's I, sharks uh, in the intercoastal. No, no. We don't have to worry about them biting you. Uh, there's not open water oh, sharks. No. What that, do you mean? There's not open water sharks. Not in the I think all sharks are open water sharks. Right? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's it's the re- sea world. <laughs> 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 That's what I thought. Open water sharks are great whites. Your bull sharks. Oh, the big your, uh, Hammerhead and stuff. You know, in, like anywhere, any sharks near the coast. So where are we uh, at with the bike? Now. Anyway. Have you ridden it at all? No, but oh. my question oh, you gotta is: get it fit. I went on YouTube and sponsor it. Get my I, pay for it. my idea is I can get all the information just as good off YouTube uh, about how to fit myself no. to this bike, and no. I don't need to pay three hundred bucks. Is right? What's an, the difference? Is the difference an, is if you don't tighten it. If you don't tighten it the way it's supposed to be tightened. And you're going to be in the middle of your 12 mile freaking bike ride, and something's going to rattle off. No, like you want a professional no. using professional things. No, Tom's going to eat shit no, for it all. I, these people. I, I, I can tighten everything. Make it's sure just, it's the, safe. Your it's hands safe. aren't tightening anything, yeah, bro. Yeah, make it you're going to have to have somebody else help you. Put let some me, Tom and Dan shit on it and get make it a business experience. Aren't you a there safe you time guy? Smart. Aren't you a safe time guy? Yeah. Weren't we just talking about Rob Deerdick and the fact that Deerdick? it made me mad that he <laughs> bought a hundred and. 50 fantastic Sam haircuts uh. so he could cut to the front of the line so he could save himself time and get every, like it's going to take you longer to invest in the videos yeah. than it would be just to throw the money at it and get it done for a one and done do that no do it. 300 uh, I know he's like, I was willing I to throw Peace 50 75 bucks I know but all they're doing is uh, like where I'm sitting I understand comfort don't you want but, it done correctly no? but the difference between what I can do and what a pro well, can do well you don't do, even I feel know like, what the difference is yet <clears throat> and the difference yeah, could be, on, the difference you know, could be like you could be maybe overextending or underextending you don't even when you're have cycling. the Allen wrenches for and then for when it, you're running you? your yeah. legs all cramped <laughs> up <laughs> that's a no I've got some old rusty just do it just do it Tom do you, have, do you have any tools to change any of the tensions or cables on that? I bike? don't know what they you're do wearing. They do all smell like ass. Yeah, but once you start, because once you start, let's say you put in a spacer, 
on your handlebars, do you have a way to adjust the length of those cables that you just changed now? Because now the whole geometry of the yeah. bike's changed because your cables are different. Because Too I know if that's an older bike, you're not running cables through the frame. 300 bucks. You're a, you're a baller now, you know? <laughs> well, I spend all my money, but yeah, not no, enough. Not not <laughs> I go on all these wild spenders. I go on all these trips, trips, and then I just spend brand it all. It. Yeah. Can you just brand it? With I'm not even, I don't even have access to my money. It got taken away. <laughs> well, because you spoke too much weed. I'm in a conservatorship. <laughs> I, I'm just wondering about the difference between anything you could do on YouTube as opposed to paying a professional for Why don't hundreds you, of dollars. I got you. I got you. Here's a workaround. Get that company, that business, to host a, a workshop where you can train people how to adjust the bikes themselves. And you make it a promo, and you invite some BDMs, and everybody gets to learn together with you how I'm to adjust their own bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're working too hard with your advertising. But then it's free. Is that that is is dumb event. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bike fed event. Yeah, yeah. Bri- oh. Bri- I talked to Brendan about sales. When Brendan does sales, he has his. Oh, it's good. His <laughs> good he builds huge events yeah. around the He's goes all year. I'm like, you email me what you want me to say. I say nothing else. I'm a regurgitating computer. I'm not a creative I'll genius. I'll give you 30, maybe 33. <laughs> That's all I have. <laughs> anyway, I I just I feel like I can get. I think close, it was a brilliant idea. Close enough that what it won't be that bad it, it, because I'm not turning. I'm not going to be a cyclist. I just need it for this one. 12 mile ride and Well, if you're training. not going to be a cyclist, then why are you even doing this? Just give up. No, no, no. Because uh, it's a challenge. <laughs> the whole thing's stupid anyway. Yeah. Just give up. Yeah, I don't know why you signed up for Yeah, this. the whole thing's dumb. It's just I a pain in the cool. ass. Yeah, no. It's not an Iron Man competition, though. It's there, are no, two no, things, no, no. there are two things on this show I know are dumb. Number one is Tom's triathlon. <laughs> Number two is my scooter dream. Both of those <laughs> were the two <laughs> stupidest, most dumb you fucking gave up stupid on your scooter? ways. Oh, yeah. I'm, that no, no, shit's no, fucking sale. I'm out. You gotta drill a small hole. I'm not drilling into the fucking handlebars on that bike. And I got all these Bikers, old bikers emailing me. If you drill in it, you're not an American. Are you going to eat before this triathlon? Eat that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean eat? Sorry. Gonna, like I'm a laugh. breakfast? Are right. you going to have a smoothie you and then me, shit Dad. your pants you when me. you're running? <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> That's what Michael's got. You're, you're going on an empty stomach? <laughs> Carbo. No, no. I'm a big <laughs> wow. paper plate. More importantly, <laughs> a, a wilted, a wilted sack. White. Don't white be, paper don't plate. be those guys it's, that poops themselves on the mirror. No, Brendan, Brendan, Brendan. It's a double. It's a doubled up white paper plate that's so moist with Fettuccine Alfredo. It's up on the bottom and he's shoveling it. <laughs> I would do that anyway. <laughs> then a lot of animals <laughs> yeah. dive off the oh my, you gotta, oh my uh, god. You gotta band aid your nips too. And the butter band-aid and the nipples. fettuccine. Oh yeah, you gotta band aid your nips. And the butter and the fettuccine, 500 Tom. milligrams. And you literally start hallucinating. What are you gonna wear? What are you gonna wear? And are you gonna wear a purple suit, you fucking idiots? And band aid your nips. Are you gonna band aid your nips? You yeah. have to. Uh, uh, I'm mad that I told you guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am, when I worked I'll, at Disney, you they, motherfuckers better. Better not show up to this. All. Oh, me I, and Norm are already booking a hotel. No, no. I will yeah. run out of bounds and push you over. <laughs> Dude, I know you're making fun of me. You're cheering me on. He whole gets time. arrested I'm, at the event. Just out. bobbing and weaving. I'll kick your go Tom Van <laughs> I don't want you guys there. And don't look at me. Oh my God. You, uh, when I worked at Disney, they would schedule you <laughs> to work to cheer people on at the Disney Marathon. And oh, I, Tom hates the Disney Marathon. Uh, <laughs> woke me up at 3.30 in the morning, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> they started early. I was camping with my family. Remember oh, they moved shit, it up? No. They, they moved it this yeah. last and they moved it up because of the weather. Because of the yeah. weather, yeah. Uh, I th- uh, yeah, I told them the story on the BDM page, but all of a sudden I woke up at 3 in the morning. <laughs> and I'm like, I, and, like and I've been camping for two nights. Too. Yeah. Let me oh, tell you something. Horrible. I, I thought you were riding, okay? I thought you were at least riding your big beach cruiser around to get some pedaling no. in. I didn't know you were not riding at all. The chat room's right. He's He's if, got no leg if, strength. But if he's not training now, well, he does uh, have leg strength. He does leg press. You're but training. If you're not, dude, Look if you're at not those pedaling, legs. your ass is going to hurt on that seat for at least two weeks. Oh, you got to get started. Is gonna I'm be back so on the sore. bike. This is my first week back on the Peloton every morning, right? Yeah. And my gooch is straight raw, man. Mm. It is pain, pain. 
I, I sit on Crystal's mm. arm of her computer chair every once in a while. Excuse <laughs> me? <laughs> 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 that kinky shit is going on. No, no, it's a training technique. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's no, a training technique. Train my gooch. That's all you need, right? You just need a pressure to push it in. I'm not doing this anymore. I just have Maisie whip my Ew, you put your dirty gooch on your wife's office chair? Which arm, left or right? Which arm? I have which uh, arm left I'm or right? Scooting all over I put a, fucking This is getting worse. Furniture. Which arm do you put your paint on? <laughs> I spread a napkin. Over <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. One of your work no, napkins? You <laughs> yellow, no, yellow you Wendy's. And, uh, vintage <laughs> yellow <laughs> Wendy's now. Does she know? Uh, Does she know that? Of course she doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who keeps calling us? Who is I don't it? Know. What do you want? It just says wireless. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Hello? Are you there? No. Hello? What's happening? Get out of here. It's a fax machine. Bastard. So, Brendan, have you heard <laughs> about the AI generated... Wait, uh, was there a question there for him about the triathlon? Well, no. Should he, should he, get, should he money? pay for okay, it okay. was the question. I, the answer is yes. I already knew the answer before. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had his mind made up. I mean, I tried to help him. Even my heart wasn't in it. Are you going to get bike shorts? <laughs> you got to get the thing that you can swim in. His wife got him bike shorts. Yeah, but you, swim, bike, and run, right? Right, yeah. You no, need we, jammers. Uh, they're called tri shorts. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Try hard shorts. No. You know what? They're too long. They go all the way to the knee. Yeah. Like, yeah. Long. what do you think they're on me? <laughs> no, on me, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> sweet. Capri's. I'm like sweet pea from Popeye. You want short ones? Yeah, I want thigh. I mean, you know, the long ones <laughs> look like that. I'm a old <laughs> they granny. Don't do, they don't do that. <laughs> you feel old. <laughs> yeah, like, too they're like stupid. <laughs> Most of your they're best long, tight shorts. I just had to do. I decided to wear a full, uh, or like, I guess it was a shorty, a, a wetsuit. We were filming for the show that I'm doing uh, for very local at uh, Discovery Cove. We just did that the other day. Oh, yeah, I saw the and, pictures. Uh, it was so cool, but I had to wear, I haven't worn a wetsuit in forever. I've and I never felt like worn a pig a in a blanket. It was just too <laughs> much body. <laughs> it was yeah. too it's kind of it's, squeezed into the spandex. We've done it with uh, scuba diving. It's not yeah. fun. Did no. You, and now it's on TV. People are going to have to look at me. But did, it does feel cool because I like the buoyancy of the web. web that suit. was neat. I did the yeah. thing too where they lower, it was a 75 pound helmet. And they lower it down on a winch, and then it, and then you get forced down to the bottom of this pool, and you walk along the bottom of the pool, and there's all these fish and things around you. That's neat. And it's pressurized, so your ears pop because you're like down so low, and you have to like slowly come up, otherwise you get That's the bends. Neat. At Discovery Co. I had no idea. It was really That's cool. That's very cool. Um, anyway, spandex. They put you in an old 1920s <laughs> yeah. big iron it's a, helmet. I kinda it's like a that. newer design one. It's uh. white with a little handle thing on the top. Uh, that they put the winch. They make on. you write a handwritten letter to your best girl too, and they roll it up, stick it in a bottle, and throw Just it in the ocean case. to float away. I thought I was gonna. I'm a little claustrophobic, so I the whole. It was the last thing we shot. Was the whole it cool? day. I thought I was gonna die. You know, leading up to it, I was not. I was very full of anxiety. Oh, sure. But, but I did good. I did good. Nice, and now man. I have a crush on the diving instructor because he was very nice to there me the go. whole time. Was that the first <laughs> time you did any scuba diving related? Oh yeah, thing? and now I like it. And I had oh, a, at the end, I, I was fully stoked and uh, Brendan, it's great. I'm ready to propose to Sean, my diving instructor. We should. Ta- <laughs> me and Daniel are uh, scuba yeah. certified. Oh, I got my yeah, advanced course. It's uh, awesome. Maybe Groupon. That uh, is the best. <laughs> uh, are you good? We're uh, conflicting. Uh, Real good. He's a patty man. I'm a nawi man. It just seems a Let's little like steampunk to me. Like there's too many dials and shit. Like, no, it's all. You know what should make you feel good? Is like driving a zamboni. The technology in diving is so old that it should make you feel yeah. better. Better. You don't it's really need true. to know anything. Like I don't need. You don't need to know the dive table. That's all. You know. Uh, the, I got to watch. Do you do, do it, it for me? Uh, you don't even need. No, you just. You, you don't have to do it anymore. Well, I, do, you, do you often? But do you guys go diving? No, not very often. But um, I should do it often. But you, know, the the honesty behind dive tables is I have never. Uh, I, the first two dives I did, I did my own math. The rest of the dives, uh, I was too drunk and high, and Andrea <laughs> failed out my uh, my bug. <laughs> and then you were diving drunk and high? No, oh, you're yeah, not yeah. drunk and high. You wait until the, you're sober when you dive, okay. and then afterwards you get drunk and high. Got it. Um, you know, when you're down there, if you start uh, hallucinating, uh-huh. then uh, start coming up slowly. <laughs> That's the only um, anyway, so uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I interrupted you. Uh, well, it was you're transitioning to a new topic. 
Oh, the AI. AI. Yes. AI songs. We got it back. Kind of can't believe it. Out of the four of us. Look, if I'm the one, <laughs> if I'm the one remembering it, look, this a, is the weed and yoga show. It's yeah, fine. The, if I this is our weed and yoga show. show. There's a problem. <laughs> so Daniel found uh, this AI program. Uh, we used it a little bit already. What's and it called? It is. It's an app called Suno AI. S U N O A I. Came through on a like a little. Letter I respond to or, or subscribe to rather, and uh, and they said, hey, if you're bored, check out this new website. Um, they they just got the technology where you can put in you know whatever prompt you want, and it will write a song in whatever style you want. And I'm like, nah, it's a bunch of shit. Tom and I've been waiting for this for years. Um, we talked about it, <laughs> but you're so good at it organically. Well, I love doing it. Our buddy Jackal loves doing yeah. it. I've always written like parody songs and stuff like that. But I gotta tell you, it is kind of nice to be the receiver of parody songs. You it's know nice what I mean? to be a receiver sometimes. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. So essentially, you could write but. whatever you, words. You could write your own lyrics if you want, or just write what theme you want the song uh, to this. be about, and and what and then also what genre of music you want the song, and it will write you a song in twelve seconds. That's anything amazing. you want. And uh, and some of them crazy. are duds. Like I wrote. Sure. One. Yeah. You're like, gonna get some duds. Yeah, but. you get a couple of duds, but I wrote one. Is Island Breeze yours? Yes. I wrote one for Brendan. You want to hear Brendan's? Yeah. This is called Island Breeze. It's uh, <laughs> reggae. You say, What'd you I tell it? I haven't heard yours, no. Okay, it, it keeps a record of what you tell it. I said, a reggae song about... No, 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 that's the wrong one. I don't think that's yours. Oh. Because this one says... It was Island something. This one says, a reggae song about stinky Punani, the fattest <laughs> Punani, and pumping the Punani. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we got. In the tropical sun, we're having some fun. With the rhythm and the vibe, moving side by side. But there's Ooh. one thing that's clear. People are going to fuck to this song. Set, that stinking food not me. <laughs> Is that a fat content? <laughs> what? That's pretty good. <laughs> Did it say pumping that punani? Yeah, he said you're pumping the punani. <laughs> Did you? Was that in your prompt? Uh, I put yes, pumping and pumping punani, and it said it wrote it into like a nice song for me. I have to say, pumping punani, what a hook. Thank you. That reminded me of a song that came across my rhythm uh, this past week called Somebody Fart in the Minibus. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a real Caribbean song. I'll put the link in the Twitch chat if Was you want to check AI it out. No, th- no, this is a real song. But, like some of the songs. mine. Uh, like, so I will find yours. I'll, I'll find it. I, I've got it. Um, here's another one I wrote. Do you just want me to start popping these yeah, off? Yeah, yeah. Here's one I wrote for Maisie. Um, I, wrote, uh, I, said, I wrote the prompt was hair metal song about how... I love Taco Bell. And this song's called Taco Rocker. Great. Pretty the, good, right? the file you sent me says Island Doctor okay. or Island Drive. Uh, I will find Brendan's here. Now, again, obvi- it's not there 100% yet, but if this is ha- how it started, oh, yeah. then imagine in 10 years. Dude. Oh, we'll. I, could You'll you- still need, I think you still need to like judge it. Otherwise, they're all going to sound the same, right? Right. Music will yeah, just yeah. sound the same. But if you can, like jingles, man, just jingles. Yeah, yeah. jingles for one off. The, the jingle writer is now out of business. Yeah, right? it, it can be. Like, see, what what I, I like to use this stuff as a tool because, like, I'm already like I played with it yesterday. So when we came in here, I wouldn't be a fool and be like falling over my not know the prompts and uh-huh. what to do, but. I'm already kind of tired of it because I can see patterns. You know what yeah. I mean? Like once you're in there and you start seeing it, it's less scary it all when you start. Sounding the same. Well, not yeah. necessarily. Like this one's Brendan's. I think I found yours. Ooh, 
Brandon's cruising through the streets of Orlando. This is pretty good. We've been feeling free. Oh, <laughs> with a smile on his face, he's on that natural high. Living life is our way. Oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my. He's an island dreamer. Brendan's an island dreamer. That's I love good. that song so much. I'm glad you do, man. <laughs> what a gift, yeah, man. It's so fun. And then, like, I started, I'm going to play that at bingo. I started going <laughs> crazy. Like, then I did this one for me and Tom. For now and after, baby. Wow. Tom and Dan for President 2024. <laughs> That's now, uh, my wife when I sent that to Andrea. Andrea goes, "That is creepy." And I go, "What do you mean?" She goes, "That is in the cadence, the style, the lead singer's voice, timbre, um, cadence, um, breath of her favorite band of all time, Westlife. She loves <laughs> Westlife. What is that? A Westlife? Westlife's like a another boy band. Well, okay. It's another boy band that she's never gotten to see. They're O-Town. in the same category as with, uh, with NSYNC. Okay. But I swear to God, if you line that up with a Westlife song, you're like, you're like holy shit. I bet the AI can just see, like, because they're kind of, they all have a formula. Right, especially boy band stuff. Well, th- isn't the AI technology? It basically uh, borrows from the internet, and so it's borrowing the styled songs and changing them enough to not rip them off. Yeah, but it's like you know. So the overall theme of the song, it's just stealing essentially. But it's like I stealing mean, yeah. micro elements to the point where it's not the same and it's totally original. But uh, but it's th- also pulling things that are all the common denominator. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, which could actually mean it's like a hit generator because it's pulling things that you hear more often, so that people respond better to. So maybe like future versions, it's just a hit machine. I'm sure in the future that the, we will hear songs being played on the Billboard Top 100 oh. that that are some of them are AI. Yeah, and it, it'll happen. I'll, let me give you a few details about. But this. who's actually the artist? The person that entered the prompts. I am. Like of yeah. all these songs right no, now, no, you're not the artist. You're the this, art, you're the artistic director. Whatever it is, I own these songs because yeah, I bought yeah. the purple diamonds to and, buy the goddamn things, and I <laughs> and I read the terms of service. Is it and, expensive? Uh, not very. I spent for for everything we did here on the company card. It was ninety dollars, and you got a chunk of. You have to be pretty clever with how you use your remixes, uh-huh. and you have to dig in there. I'll show. I'm going to show Brendan all how to do it. It's very easy, and with somebody as creative as you, dude. But it's you like, can blow through some diamonds, Light me man. up, girlfriend. No, but, but seriously, it's for creative people. <laughs> the AI never really scares me because it's just a tool. Like, yeah. Jackal's not going to be out of business. You know, like it, like we get because, people really mad at us because we use it for image generating for yeah, some of our stories too. sometimes. And people are like, what are you doing? Like, it, they, my yeah. cool, you know, uh, what do you guys call him? Hot Book Boy? Mm. Uh, <laughs> hates it. He, he, you know, doesn't hate it. He's not a big fan of it. He I'm thinks it kind of cheapens it, like what we're doing, because it, it's not real. Right, but I I think it's interesting. I think it's a tool. I think it's valid. I made some. Hey, you want to hear an injured on the go? Just call Mo song. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna play this at the tailgate. This is so good. You can't tell me country songs aren't made by AI. That's what I said yesterday. You can't tell me here and there. They all sound like They all sound the same. I wrote one about that. I wrote a country song. About how they all sound they the all sound the same. I just got to dig in here and find it for there's you. Like well, there's like now skits about it, right? Of just like here, this is what makes a good country song. Here, and, yeah, and by the way, but we, for some people may not understand, Daniel's just putting in uh, prompt words, like five prompt words, hitting enter, and then the genre of music, and it's pumping this out in twelve seconds. But it will. Like, do. This is this is like so you can do this so fast that it doesn't matter. But again, it's a tool. So for somebody like me that likes likes to write songs and rhyme, 
I just got, I did this so fast. Here's what I did. I went over to the machine and I wanted to write a country song about how all country songs sound the same. Uh-huh. But I wanted to skew it to like a Jason Aldean vibe conservative, right? So what I wrote, this is my prompt. I'll read it verbatim. I wrote a new trendy country song that's about how all these songs sound the same. Then in quotes, I wrote, go Brandon Michael Landon, Bud Light is lame. <laughs> I got a need for speed and a tiny, tiny pecker. That's all I wrote. <laughs> okay, all right. This is the song we got, okay? Because you can fuck around with this thing. It's what it's for. I have a boner and, for this song okay, already. And this go. took 12 seconds. The 12 seconds, and the song is called All Songs Sound the Same. But I heard a song the other day Sounded like every other tune they played Go Brandon, Michael, Landon But a lot is lame Oh, yeah! I thought, man, they're <laughs> all just chasing fame All oh, these yeah. songs Sound the same, nothing new, just different names. Got a need for speed and a tiny, tiny pepper. <laughs> it's all about the catchy hook, no matter how sturdy it gets. See, he, I, he fucked with me at the end. The computer says, but hey, it's all about the catchy hook, no matter how absurd it gets. So how long <laughs> he was he, it, the, he, I'm saying he, but AI knew that I was feeding in absurdity, and it even commented on my absurdity. It knew I was being absurd, and it said, it don't matter what Dan is putting in his props, I'm just being absurd, AI. You know, that's what it was doing. It was communicating. All right. Soon it will reach its robot form through the screen and crush your skull. But then I wrote one. Wait, well, does it cap how long they are? Yeah, it, right now it's not there. You get like between, I think you get between 20 and a minute 40. Because they don't want you releasing this as a single. Well, no, they want you to. I could release these on Spotify right now if I wanted to. I have a one-click button, boom, put them huh. on Spotify, start generating I think money. You, it would sound so much better with you with your vocal. Well, it's not really this one. Now, I wrote another one because I wrote one for Tom. I was trying to write songs for everybody. I wrote a song for you, buddy. Called, um, I wrote one called Jesus Likes Money and So Do I. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is for you. Oh, wait, no, hold on. That's not it. Let me tell you about a man named Jesus. Gave his life so he could find salvation. No need to keep Oh, this one's giving me high. This is too real. Hold on. But this one little thing that's always on his mind. They're going to perform this at church. <laughs> he says hallelujah at the end. Tommy, hallelujah. okay? You okay? I, What's I'm, that making you feel? It's good, right? It's good. I'm thinking about just what this will do That's a hit in the song. future. The yeah, Jesus you know? Loves Money and So Do I song is a hit song. You want to know why? It's an exact copy of... Um, it's that song... Um, Oh, God, they were a one-hit wonder in the 80s. Um, I'm that king of wish for thinking. <laughs> it's a fucking copy of it, dude. When will you be able to uh, enter? When will they make this AI movies where you write down doing it. the script of they're a movie? It. And then I'm sure it'll be, like, you know, animated, they're, obviously CG. People, they're doing trailers uh, of it. They're doing AI trailers, like Wes Anderson directing Lord of the oh, Rings. Oh, yeah, I've seen I just those. showed that at Bingo, and it's so... So amazing. Or like Batman, uh, I don't know. And it's just morphing Touch together different trailers in the genre that you want to? No, it's like, because there's, it's, they're using, it's multi platform. So they're using different, they'll do like Mid Journey to generate the, the imagery. Okay. Then they put that into another AI filter to make it talk, but they use an AI, another AI program to make the uh, script. Uh, and then you can put that into another thing to make the voice be like uh, Kate, Kate Blanchett or wow. Luke Wilson. Like you can you can make it uh, match Custom, samples. Okay, yeah, but you need to piecemeal it all together. There's nothing like there's not a program that does all of that yet. Uh, but it's coming. But it's yeah, coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Hey, remember my favorite koozie? <clears throat> That said, hot, I turn hot dogs into hot logs. Uh. I wrote a song about it. <laughs> Just <laughs> now. You sent me this one. I love Listen up, I got a story to tell. Bottle food that'll make you go from heaven to hell. It's the hot dog, the king of the street. But when it hits your stomach, you better take a seat. It starts off innocently with a simple bite. It tastes so good, you think you've reached the height. But then, oh damn, the heat starts to rise. Your belly's on fire, you can't believe your eyes. Woof. 
the nasty side. Now we are flowing like a river in the night. Splish splash. <laughs> you get, do, you see, do you see how they added digital ODB? Go splash, splash, motherfucker. And then in the minute it goes hot now. You could be putting these in, like, uh, if you're a DJ. Like, if you're doing yeah. d- digital DJ sets, like, you could be putting in these hooks. Hot dog, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Based on, and like, you could be creating them while you're, d- uh, based on your environment, on, like, what's going on. So you could create custom one. songs immediately. And then drop it Let's in based on what you're seeing. Let's do one right now. Oh, okay. Are we up against the break? Where are we at on time here? I mean, there is no up against anything. Well, no, I know. We're trying to keep it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I forget sometimes that you live in uh, literal way. <laughs> this guy, I'm like, hey, help me out here, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's write one right now. What do you want to do? We can write any song we want. I'll just give it the prompts, and we'll see how... We'll real-time it so the listeners can see it, because I'm about fucked out of it. We can do it uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway style and ask the Twitch chat. Okay. You want to do it like that? And crowdsource so words? The first five words we'll put into the... Do like okay. a Mad Libs. AI chat. All right. So first five words we'll put in there, and we want a song about what? We'll One go word with a piece. I got... Uh, what do I you keep, want it to be about? Uh, uh, well, I'll start off Diet Mountain Dew. All right. Uh, <laughs> 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 that was the first thing that came... You well, couldn't come up with any word. You just said... I about do. Well, I'm very stupid, Brendan, so I just have to look around and then look at Daniel and then say the word that I thought. It's either that or megaphone or whiteboard. Or, <laughs> or light or camera. I spy. Oh, this man. is I spy sucker song generation. Um, Platypus hippopotamus. Uh, we got uh, this is a cult. And let's put Brenda Tom from Biflo. Brenda from Biflo. And Brenda. <laughs> the chat from is terrible. <laughs> there. All right. It's Wait, making can you two put, songs. Oh, okay. No matter what, it's just making two songs. That's okay. Uh, what prompts did you three, put in? Four, five. What are the words people six, are saying? Pool seven, noodle. That's funny. Eight. Potato. Not done. Okay. Nine seconds that time. What? I wrote a song about Diet Mountain Dew, All Day Suckers, Farts, This Is a Cult, Tom and Dan, and Brenda from Biflo. And it wrote. The first song is called The Do of All Day Suckers. <laughs> all Day <laughs> Suckers. The second song is called Do and Distractions. All right. Oh. So let's go with the first one. It's called, uh, it says, it should be humorous rock called The Do of All Day Suckers. All right. Diet Mountain Dew, the drink of choice for me. Keeps me buzzing like a bumblebee. <laughs> All day suckers, that's my crew. We're sipping you while we're catching the view. This is a cult of Diet Mountain Dew. Tommy, Danny, Brenda from Big Motel. What? Put each other down. Can't get enough. What? Do it and feel it tough. <laughs> Diet Mountain Dew, the fuel of mine. It's Oh. All day suckers in your lights. <laughs> Farts and laughter. We're <laughs> part of the crew. This is a cult and we're Tom Dan's view. Bring the from below your RP. Oh! oh. With your wild stories, not Queen. Clean. With your wild stories, not a single one queen. How did they know I was a queen? Well, there you go. That's basically it. I Not bad, if right? I wonder if that crowd, like, what if it's looking, because you said Brenda from Bithel, I wonder if it, like, found that, associated it with a drag queen. Because sometimes it will take liberties and find things that I didn't put in there, which yeah. is weird. I don't know how it works. That's the one thing is I haven't investigated what it's pulling from, the process behind mm-hmm. it. Like it, knew- it could be stealing <clears throat> all of my family's money and my identity. No. You know, because what's interesting is, like, Skynet. It, it said Diet Mountain Dew, and it, it, like, it keeps me buzzing. Right. So it knew it had caffeine. Yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? So it knows and what I it, the things you write. There's in there. context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is uh, that's what's crazy to me. It's like it yeah. puts context to the words because of its artificial intelligence, which is nuts. It when, is nuts. I don't think this is going to kill music. I don't think it's no. going to kill independent music. I just think it's going to be something that will always be around. It's the beginning, you know, yeah. though. Unless uh, the government kills it because they hate it. Like when they you, hate everything, right? When yeah. you made the fo- first robot and it's like uh, just going around your floor or whatever, that eventually evolves into the one that kills you. <laughs> like, so this it's yeah. not going to start with the vacuum. I do the way Scotty talks to our uh, Alexa makes me very nervous. Is he mean to it? I'm oh, mean to mine. He, no, yeah, he's so mean I'm to really it. I'm really mean to it, and I keep telling him like, don't, don't do that. Something could happen one day, and you're going to be real mad. So uh, we make the 
the joke about like obviously this is not going to immediately take people's jobs. But imagine if you were a uh, a radio show or whatever, you know, that wanted an intro to a segment. Yeah. Before this, you would have to pay or have your producer produce one to take take a long time or whatever. Now you can make intros to segments that are custom that you own, which was a problem in radio. I think before. it behooves you if you're in this industry to know these tools. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. kind of why yeah. I'm learning it. I don't want to be left behind. But yeah. real quick. While we were talking about it, I wrote a Tupac styled Mo DeWitt rap. No. Right now? Was it $90 for the year? Uh, no, I'm burning Ooh. through credits like crazy. Hold <laughs> 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 like off. Hey, burn through your no, $300 no, no, no. bike fitting money. <laughs> don't worry, Sam. Sam, Tom, don't worry. You guys know I put this on my private cards. So the only person going to get <laughs> down that is man. me from Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to take the place of my digital planes. Now I have something else to do. And it's even more creative. <laughs> now you need All to right. make uh, AI music videos for them. That's common. It's yeah, yeah. Well, we need AI to do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Now it's really not doing anything. I just type in a few words and sit back and go, not good. <laughs> <laughs> not good. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Yeah, when man. we come back, uh, we got some dump them out topics and dump uh, it out. some other stuff. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a compilation that came through my desk, and I hadn't heard this song, um, but apparently it got sent to us last year, and I just must have missed it. The name of the band is The Insiders. The name of the song is Bring Back the Weekend for Fam... Or it's from the Bring Back the Weekend for Family and Flag. Um, the song is called Bring Back the Weekend. Just listen to it. Sorry. Family-friendly service. That's our buddies over at American Air and Heat. You know, I just had American Air and Heat come to my house last weekend. Uh Uh-oh, what happened? Well, no, they they came to do preventative maintenance. Nice. I I schedule preventative maintenance, uh, you know, every nine months. Well, then you're before me, so that must mean mine's on the schedule. I'll be getting a call soon. And so I had a great tech come by, Zeke. uh, Shout out to Zeke. They came by, super nice and friendly, gave me all my options. But when he was doing the preventative maintenance, uh, he brought me outside to my outside unit where the fan is. Mm -hmm. And... uh, he showed me all the leaves and dirt he cleaned out from inside. Oh, yeah. You know, because the leaves fall in through where the fan is and then collect on the bottom. And then they build up. And the problem is, he showed me, is that when they do build up with dirt and everything, it could ruin the components inside, you know, your, your unit. Sure, yeah. And then when it does that, your expensive repairs and all that could be solved with preventative maintenance. Sure. Because it's not like, oh, yeah, like I put a spoonful of vinegar in mine and that's <laughs> yeah, all I need. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's more than that. Yeah. He cleaned all the coils on my outside, and they're dirty. Like so, yeah. he cleans them he just all got out. It up and running for the summer. Yes, and uh, and you guys need to do preventative maintenance. Give them a call, AmericanAaronHeat.com. Uh, also, uh, if you have a problem, um, they'll come by and take a look at it. Yeah, well, I mean, like in in in, in Florida. You're not not going to have a problem. It's not no. a question of like I'll never have. No, you will. But you need to have that company that you trust. You need to have that company that can get there quickly. And then like if you're like me, and I know a lot of you are, get that company that when they the, when they get there and when they leave, you never knew they were there. They don't destroy things. They're very clean. Yeah, they're yeah. respectful. They're kind to your daughter. And why? I mean, I don't know, man. Call yeah. me old school. They're super pro. You call me old school. But when American Air and Heat, when I see the van near me, I'm like, ah, yeah. I like these guys. It's you know, just it's better. They have financing available too for complete new units like me and Daniel got for our houses. Redo your duct work. Make your house more efficient when you're cooling it. I know your energy bill could be through the roof. Uh, So talk to them. It's AmericanAaronHeat.com It is, uh, yeah, we're back with a mediocre time. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. Sorry, I didn't expect that. It's all I, I, I'm watching the iTunes. I didn't, like, you know, like, remember when it was cool to end your song cold like that? Because it would, all that feedback would, I guess, like, uh, flow into the next song. But uh, I wasn't ready for that. Apologies. <laughs> Woo. Welcome back to the show. Um, we've got the Tom and Dan Cruise 2024.com. That's the website. Yeah, uh, man. And we'll be doing the Tom and Dan Cruise this year. Are you coming with us, year. Brendan? 
in September. I've been waiting for a free ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, 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 I'm waiting for, to sell a couple more cabins, yeah, yeah. and then I was going to offer you. But I, <laughs> Bus was asking me about it the other day, too. If you, if you, if I get to come, I'll, I'll do a, a free bingo game for everybody. No, really? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Bre- Brenda will come, too, and I'll host bingo for everybody. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's pretty awesome. Well, you know, it was funny about that. I, and I've I, never done a cruise, so I'm a little nervous. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised <laughs> you've never done a cruise. Absolutely easy. Um, it, I was. Uh, contemplating asking you to come, but then I was like, you know, it would be great if you did uh, host uh, oh, Bingo. So yeah, we but don't want to make it work. But yeah. then I was like, it's it's insulting it's rude, to yeah. ask someone to like, hey, come on uh, this cruise, but we you have to. Dan. Do I was going to say you did it to Dan yeah, Thomas, no he, problem. And he, no, we don't talk to him. We don't talk to him anymore. Talk to him yeah, anymore. Yeah. Talk to him anymore. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll bring well, a whole. I'll bring a whole bunch of outfits. I can change every day. Uh, Brenda could make an appearance at four o'clock. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty. That's Hang awesome. out by the pool. EJ with my says he'll do bitties. a free nerd jock on the boat. Uh, no to EJ. <laughs> 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 it's a hard no. Uh, uh, you uh, no one wants yeah. that. I was already writing the email. Do you? <laughs> what is nerd jock? That's his. Uh, segment. Yeah, that's what he I does. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what it is. No one knows what it is. It's basically us giving a little bit of airtime to our buddy. Ah, yeah. uh, <laughs> like me. It, it, no, yeah. no, 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 no. You no. give the facts. You're, uh, you're a mover and shaker. Oh, influence. Here EJ's a janitor, yeah. wears tight UM shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're an influencer. He's just more like an influencer. He's bad. <laughs> influencer. Yeah. That's funny. There's a joke there. Nah, it's not that good. That's the, your next song. Influencing Influenza. That's it. I'll put it right in the AI. You've been on cruises before, right? Never. You just said you don't listen. The to only cruise anything, I've done man. has been well, in a public park. And I said, "Wow, I'm surprised you've never been on a cruise before." Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah his sorry. tape is out of memory. Right. <laughs> just, just goes straight through. I thought you uh, uh, cruising public restrooms. That's me. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, maybe. Was it scary? To, do any of you guys remember? Maybe Sam. Do you remember your first cruise? Yeah, it was a Disney cruise. Because I went as a kid. Were you a kid? Hell no. I didn't think so. So was it scary? Uh, Yeah. It was terrifying. And it was a balcony. And I got the thing where I want to jump over the side really? at night. So I had to stay locked inside the Wait, cabin at night. what do you mean you got the thing where you want to jump? Where the sea calls you out there and it wants you to jump over the side yeah. of the boat. It's what are you talking the, it's about? It's called the mermaid's call. What is it, like the call of the sirens <laughs> or something? Yeah, it's the call of the mermaids. Oh. Yeah. What? It's, like, it's this feeling that it makes you want to have where you want to jump they call over the side. It, it's called Poseidon Symphony. <laughs> and when it sings to you, you have no choice but to jump in and go visit yeah. Davy Jones' locker. Yeah. But as soon as you hit the water, oh, it's oh, a regret. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> the first thing you do as you jump off. Well, now I don't want to go. You're going yeah. so far as you jump <laughs> off. inside cabin. That's what I do now. That it shatters the bones in your legs. So you're trying to kick broken legs, which I don't know if you've ever tried to kick broken legs underwater. It hurts a lot. <laughs> I've kicked someone else's broken legs underwater. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, dump them. Let's do some dump uh, them. Dump them out. Right, let me find the button here. Did I lose it? I no. sing this song to myself when I poop. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Poor Scotty. <laughs> he doesn't listen to me. <laughs> we have a door closed rule at our house. Same. Hey, we got too many topics on the list today. It's the end of the motherfucking show. So come on, baby. <laughs> Let's dump them out. Play. I want to see your topics. Ooh, I want to see your bottom mix. <laughs> <laughs> On my chest. Dump them out brought to you by the Food Truck Fiesta going on this Sunday in Sanford. Eric's going to be out there. So if you want some Tom and Dan merch or just swing by the tent, if you're at the Food Truck Fiesta, uh, check it out. Also, check out our Air TND. Uh, you can go to airtnd.com yeah, or go to Airbnb's website and search uh, Sanford Airbnb's because it's usually uh, top 10. And uh, that's our Airbnb, Tom and Dan themed. And you can stay in there. It's walking distance to everything. To uh, basically, in yeah, everything that you would ever want to do in Sanford, just uh, check it out. And we recently opened up this whole year. So if you're looking for dates, uh, they're on there because we were like, we had them blocked off up until uh, we. You know, made the deal for next year, and it's all open. We'll be at the Sanford Porch Fest again at our Airbnb. So, uh, you know, you could also come. with a concert again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. we got bands performing. We're on our hosting porch. bands again on our porch, and we're also trying to update the AirTnd. It's going to continue into wow. 2024, and we're working on some things behind the scenes to maybe add 
some um, high quality bar games to it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if what uh, we have planned happens, it'll be amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do we got? Um, what do you want to start with? Air Pirates? That's what? the first thing on the list, Air Pirates. Okay, do you guys know um, Mickey Mouse? Air, have you heard the legend of the Mickey Mouse Air Pirates? No. Okay, I think back in the, I want to say... like a euphemism. It, it kind of sounds weird, but back in the 70s, there were these artists, and I don't even know how I found this. It was really high. Uh. But it came up on my, uh, it came up on, what do you call it? Your rhythm. Uh. Uh, and it was, um, there were these artists, a collective, that got together, and they started drawing, and Sam, you might want to look it up. They started drawing, like, profane uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons, and they still called him Mickey. <gasps> And they were releasing these, like, comic books. And you could still find them and buy them today. But it was like Mickey Mouse. And you could find the artwork. And it's like Mickey Mouse, like, standing there, like, with his dick out. And he's, like, yelling to the sky, like, why won't anybody fuck me? And it's such crazy (laughs) stuff. Hold on. I've seen this on an episode of Different Strokes (laughs) when I was a kid. (laughs) Where where this happened. Look up. uh, I'll find it. Different Strokes molestation. (laughs) We play it once a year. So you're familiar with Different Strokes. uh, Not really. uh, I'm from a different country. Um, So (laughs) in. (laughs) Different Strokes for different countries. (laughs) In the show Different Strokes, um, which was. Arnold almost gets molested by a very famous character actor. Who's yeah, the child I was actor gifted. I was gifted a one of these as a uh, birthday card, and I did not realize that that that's what this was oh, because Mickey deal. Mouse was giving a middle finger. Was it finger. original? Yeah, I have it. The, oh, I was gonna say. I hope you still have it. Yeah, yeah, keep it. Okay. It's, it should be worth something if you if it's an original Air Pirates drawing. Like, and then I started like you can go and find <laughs> basically any comic you want, and I'm not like pro this because it is stealing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But like, if there's any comic you want, somebody scanned it in the world. And put it on the internet. Sure, yeah. And you can go, if like the latest edition oh. of Superman, Miles Morales, you know, and you want yeah. it. That's literally how I read X Men comics. Yeah, right you can read yeah. everything online. Well, you don't have to buy it, is what I'm saying, which yeah. is kind of shady. But comic, read comicsonline.com. I go there too. You yeah. can go <laughs> to just any, you know, go to yeah. any search engine, type in Air Pirates full episode, and, and you know, it'll have it scanned okay. perfectly for you to see, and you can check it all out. Low key, X Men right now, crazy. Mm. And so it's just uh, Mickey Mouse and other popular uh, characters, and them doing it's like Mad like, like, kind of like right? doing more like, like crass things. Yeah, yeah, it's more like human things. Butt I mean, stuff. they they also break the third wall. Like they're talking to like the artist and okay. And well, the the short of the long, and I believe there is a documentary I'm trying to track down to watch about this. Disney sued the fuck out of them. Okay. I mean, and they it's could do it the, now though, right? Now they could do it legally. Um, what they can do for Steamboat, Steamboat Willie. Willie, and then I guess there is some legislation going now to say that just like, uh, like they're gonna have to lock him down more because some people are saying that the nuances between what is Mickey Mouse and is Steamboat Willie are not enough to protect Mickey Mouse going forward because Steamboat Willie is. Uh, you know, it's been long enough where it is common domain now. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. It's an interesting story, but... And if you are going to do something inappropriate with a character, Steamboat Willie's... Uh, yeah. Willie's your man. <laughs> 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 like, Steamboat Willie yeah. is the perfect name for a is pedophile. It, a- <laughs> <laughs> so, supposedly, there already is... There's a horror movie, A trailer right? yeah. called Mickey's Mouse Trap. Yeah. Mickey's there, Mouse Trap. And it's about some scantily clad teens that are chased by a murderous mouse man. So, there there is a short documentary about the air pirates. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll have to go and find that. But yeah, up to that point, I never knew that there were people that actually lived and survived being sued the fuck by Disney. And these guys still do. Apparently, a couple of them are still alive. They still do interviews. They still draw. They do conventions and stuff. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool because you never think about anybody ever going right up against in legal, in court, you know. And they were kind of heralded in the art world as being kind of champions for... You know, satire. Mm. So, I don't know. Kind of interesting. And you can only be sued, really, if you're selling it, right? Because you could just put shit out there on the internet. Uh, I don't right? know. I believe they were. I don't know. I, I think they were selling it. They were doing subscriptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and, but they were claiming that, you know, they were they when weren't calling him Mickey Mouse. They were calling him Mickey. I think Mickey. it was the 70s. The right? 70s. Yeah, it was. So this, the, is, this is bad comic time. 
Yeah, yeah this would yeah. have been about the yeah, yeah. And they're like reclaiming the the illustrated medium. It's not for kids. Yeah, that you're right. Made it kind of weird because yeah. they're drawing dicks like that. And yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. And you got, got that. You. you got the those really famous artists that we yeah. remember from Mad Magazine, Jaffe, and yeah. I'm trying to I'm blanking on some of the other ones that I used to read all the time. But yeah, it, it was an interesting time for art and trying to like go up against commercial art. You know, because it was yeah, crass. Right. It was all very crass, yes. body centric, drug related. Yeah, you know, there was a lot of marijuana use. There, were like, you know, there's a lot of you know LSD. Yeah, it was it was like a freedom, kind of like a. a I remember going. My my friends used to bring us ice fishing every year, and his dad's cabin, ice fishing cabin, had uh, some illustrated uh, porn comics, and in it there was like there was one of a mouse. Trying to fuck a cat mm. with a giant dick, and I—it was—it was, and it was one that. of those. It was yeah, one it was of those. Here, kitty, kitty, Daytona Beach. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here, kitty, kitty, and he has a big erection. <laughs> but it's very similar to the, what you're talking about, right? Like yeah. the air pirate stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. Uh, over the top. Is ice fishing fun? That's a great or question. you just get as a drunk kid, it was okay. with friends. We were kids, okay. so like not getting drunk. Okay, is but regular th- fishing fun? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I, I don't mean, think so either. Deep so. sea, deep sea. You're, you're in nature, and I understand you're in nature. It's cold, ice, but you're in a hut uh, with a hole in the yeah. ice. No. So you're not I've really. Seen we didn't even yeah. do huts. We were like, <laughs> no. like, oh, you're out freezing, open air, open yeah. air on a, on a like Comic. snowmobiling. Okay, yeah, and cold. The best part was getting towed behind the snowmobile on like a a GT, you know, forerunner. You know, we'd g- be getting towed behind the snowmobile on these little GT things, sleds, and going real fast and falling off and hurting yourself. That sounds that was the best part. Because at least with regular fishing, you're out in the sun yeah. and you're you know Being on the water. The sun is great. Yeah. You know, yeah. so either maybe you're on a boat and then you got the boat ride and it's like, all right, well, ice I didn't fishing catch feels dangerous though. Like you're you're out where you should be. That's true. There, yeah, yeah, there is yeah. an element of that. Yeah. Uh, I saw a video. It takes a lot. Like I've seen beheading videos and all these things I uh, shouldn't see when we were kids. No, no. Let me like that's years when that ago. came out. When the internet came yeah. out. Well, years the first ago video? I've seen it, but like no, I saw a video like two days ago that literally re- it made me uh, sick to my stomach. And I don't know if you've seen it, but it it, re- it it's in regard to ice fishing or swimming rather. Somebody cut a hole big enough for a guy to get in there to swim. And a guy was going to swim the length, I guess, holding his breath of an oh, ice yeah, 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 yeah. pond. Oh, then and he then he couldn't out. find the hole. And yeah. he starts oh, freaking my out. God. And, and it, Worst nightmare. And I don't know if it's staged. It may have been staged. No, no, it's real. That That's a police training thing. Uh, for It's a fire and rescue no, thank training you. video. No, thank you. you I saw to... a video the other day of a guy getting hit by a train. And I was like, why did I watch oh, that? Oh, yeah, I saw that yeah. one, too. Yeah, I saw that one, too. It's on my rhythm. Yeah, it's in my rhythm. But the guy doesn't die under the ice. He finds the hole. I know, but I don't like just the panic of being in that cold water. Water swimming. Like, goo, goo, goo. Oh, and, are you all saying rhythm like algorithm? Ugh. Is that what you're saying? Is rhythm your yeah. Yeah, 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 Tom has now coined it. What's on your rhythm? Yeah, yeah. We sure <laughs> or what's your rhythm? Yeah, That's what's it. your rhythm? Oh, yeah. I like because everybody's seeing different things. Yeah. Um, and oh yeah. I actually someone yelled at us on Bungalow or on our Instagram because they didn't like my voiceover, and I was like, comment more, and we'll fuck up your algorithm. <laughs> 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 You'll see it more. The more you complain, the more you see it. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> and I, 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 I'm fully convinced that people in the future will be sharing their algorithms uh, oh. and as a way selling to, it to share or selling it, so you can get the, all the benefits of what you're like. Oh, I, this gives me everything I want to see. Yeah. Without having spending years it's of searching. It's the new for Obama everything. playlist. Yeah, you yeah. Know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. see the Obama algorithm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a personal. Um, it's like a, almost like a history, like a light history of the things that you like in the world's information library. You must be able to do that. Would like share hackers? Wh- like, yeah, can I you would not think pull? So. Can you pull? Is that a thing? I, I would assume know. so, but I don't know. You like not, pull somebody's to, algorithm? Is that you'd like have to a- hack into TikTok and then into? Well, there's the a way server. that they, they market stuff to you, right? Because they already yeah. know what you're like. It's your digital essence, right? Somebody's your, got your rhythm. Is it somebody's your digital, got our rhythm? Is it our soul? Bastards. Our digital soul? Yeah, I think it's, it's our digital soul. It's like all it, the things we're well, into, or what makes us up. Yeah, your footprint. After I die, my sons could look through my TikTok and be like, "This is what my dad was into." Oh my god. 
full bush. <laughs> I love full bush. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm, I'm way into I know it. You do. I'm way into it. You want to keep moving? Yeah, here? yeah, yeah. Okay, Sasquatch this one, I got I don't know. This one's kind of hard for me to talk about. Have you guys been seeing, and maybe this has been around for a long time, but lately, and it's on my algorithm, and I guess it's because I have been looking at some tattoo artists, but uh, I didn't know that you people were getting their eyeballs pierced. Mm-mm. Have you seen that? Like, like your actual, actual eyeball? Yeah. yeah, they can. They can. Oh man, gross. Okay, like I've a body got, mod thing. Like, yeah. Um, I I pulled up the article here. Um, okay, so basically, it started in the early two thousands. Um, <laughs> and I, I what, hate people. <laughs> it, it's crazy, dude. Here, I'm going to tell you what they do. Um, it's a, uh, an eyeball piercing can be a small shape, like a heart, a star, or a, G- you, the one I saw was a gemstone. It was a lady that got like a diamond on the side so of the white of, of her like eye. like the jewel on a tooth, they're doing it on your eye now? Yeah. So, um, so here's what they do. You undergo preoptive <laughs> testing to check that your eye health and function is completely normal. So you're a good fit for surgery. They select the type of jewelry that you want. Um, uh, they give you an anesthetic, um, inject it into both of your eyes to numb them so you don't feel pain. <laughs> you may be offered another type of anesthetic called nitrous oxide. That's great. It's making me um, sick. You may be offered a sedative drug such as Valium. Your eyelids will be held... Uh, I'm sorry if I'm triggering people. Your eyelids will be held open uh, with a special device called... Clockwork a, orange style. Yep, called a speculum. They use those for pussies, too. Uh, that's just a side <laughs> note. So uh, they don't move during the procedure. Using a tiny blade, your surgeon makes a small cut between the white of your eye, the seclera, and the transparent layer that coats it, the conjunctiva, to create a pocket. The jewelry is put inside the pocket. Because the incision for the jewelry is so tiny, there are no stitches or sealing required to help heal your eye, and it costs you around $3,000. So they basically... Make a small incision and then put the jewelry like they just drop a diamond in there yeah, yeah. and then your eye will, will heal seal back. up. And then here's one up here that this sees. I don't know if you can see that lady. See, she has a small heart that has been implanted. Girl, oh, you can barely, barely even yeah. see that. I know, Why $3, would you do that? Three thousand dollars, and then you have it for life, right? For life. Yeah, Unless yeah. I think you could probably get it taken out if you wanted to. Um, but, but what weird. if it floats over your? Right. I don't know. I have a lot Iris of questions because, like, I do like. I'm not anti body mods. I'm not even anti this. But this is this is out there, man. I'm I get, surprised it only costs three thousand dollars. If it's a diamond, was, then you always have like a little glint in your eye, right? Like, there's always like I, a little reflective. What if it, but wouldn't that attract the sun? Okay, so many questions. So I, many questions. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. That same. If you put a gem in your eye, yeah, you're changing. How light refracts in there, aren't you? I would think so. There's a guy in Deltona that could do it for eight. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In his garage now, like, uh, he will just, uh, you know, spray some disinfectant into the air before he cuts your eyeball. Oh, Um, Oh, God. This is like. uh, I've never. It said it started in the early 2000s. I've never seen this or heard of it. Me neither. Ever. Dude, it just popped up on my algorithm, and I'm like, what is this website? Who wrote this? No, dude, it was on my algorithm. I watched a lady. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you, dude. That's disrespectful. I liked it. We're better friends than that. The guy that did it says she's Russian. She's over the top, adding that he's had a few Russian girlfriends in the past. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, Russian jigs are crazy. Okay, it says your eyeball piercing. <laughs> avoid touching your eyeball piercing as this can put it uh, at risk to an eye infection. Yeah, it's dumb. important to keep it clean. Uh, your eyeball piercing is a permanent part of your eye. There's no need to remove or replace it so long as it's not bothering you. I feel like calling it a piercing is it's not, not a piercing. right. Yeah, it's not a piercing. It's, um, it's a gem eye. It's a slicing. It's a mm. hole. You put yeah, a gem yeah. in your hole. It's no different than It's like than the a, surface piercings, as they call them, right? Where it's just like on the skin. It's like a treasure troll having a gem in his tummy. Or they put the horns in. They put. They just insert it underneath your skin. This is the kind of what they're doing, right? Uh, like when they when yes. uh, the lizard man, the enigma, yes. has the horns. It's just like they cut his scalp yeah. and they stick the horns underneath there. Have you seen or Richie or like, like Richie yeah. the barber? Have you seen that guy who's the clown? He's got the tattooed clown hair, and he's got. <laughs> he had them make silicone clown eyebrows. <laughs> that they, he implanted under his eyebrows, so he has big novelty <laughs> bozos. <laughs> he, seriously, Richie the barber. Why, why does he want this? This is on my algorithm. You like this is your idea, and mine's getting all fucked up because of your idea. Like I've got nothing but freakos on mine, and Richie the barber has big silicone clown eyebrows <laughs> that are on. Hold on, I'm going to show you. 
We're all going to die. You know? <laughs> no, We're all going to die. Well, that means, you know what? Do what you want. We're all going to die. Do what no, you want. No, no. Get Brendan, the hearts on your eyes. Here, yeah. look, at, look at his eyebrows. Our little flush bags. Are, <laughs> look, at the, look at this guy's eyebrows. These are the craziest. <laughs> Why did he These make his face are, like that? See, his eyebrows. <laughs> well, because now we're talking about him. He has. He's kind of sexy in that lunch photo. He ha- see him? He has implanted big red clown eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> that is stupid. <laughs> also His, disturbing. He's also a Christian pastor now trying to help people with oh, addiction, but I think that's a <laughs> lie. He's just trying to take your money, so that's just... So me. is Shia LaBeouf, so... Yeah, well, he's a, he's going into... He's, he's gonna a pastor? Be a monk. I know, he's going to be a monk. Or like uh, Catholicism, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was with the monks, and they brought him in, and he got a whole ceremony, yes, and he gave his you know life why? up to Christ. Because he's about to go on trial. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah, yeah that's what you do. You Shannon change Burke your life that. around before you go on trial. I know, they all do. Shannon Burke got a John 3 16 tattoo. Uh, <laughs> what, what is the... We know what did he do? His ex-wife. What did he do? Shia or... LaBeouf, you don't know about all this? No. All right, we'll talk after the show. Well, I thought I liked him. Every, I did too. Every once in a, a while, monster. I'll see mm. some sort of uh, actor round table with Shia LaBeouf, yeah. but also like Tom Hanks is there. <laughs> yeah. And like other... Super well-respected yeah. and problematic. <laughs> yeah, no, but, uh, yeah. He had that cool like fringe theater company in LA. He was working with the youths. He did that long... Uh, yeah, so did James Franco. Look how the, that went. Remember, like remember the experimental <laughs> camera deal he did where he had a camera <laughs> facing himself and it was just him watching movies for like three days? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's one of those guys. He's like... He Have likes, you heard that song about him? Shia you? LaBeouf. Da, 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 da. Shia LaBeouf. No. Nope. <laughs> Should I look that up? Oh, you're going to freak your freak. So, I'm going to freak my freak. It's a, besides from all the controversy, which I don't know, but uh, he's well-respected actor. Like, uh, considered so. a yeah. really good actor. I think he's like a slightly less problematic uh, Kevin Spacey. Oh, that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, seriously, they're both good. I'm trying to give him that credit. That Sia they're, song, they're, the Sia yeah, video. They're both talented. They're both super artists. talented. Sia's got some weird shit. Oh, what's the other guy? Ezra Miller. I put yeah. him in. I put him in there too. These are talented actors oh, that Miller. I think are bad people, right? Yeah. Is I Ezra Miller a bad, bad person or is, or is he super just talented? trying to save that kid? <laughs> Ezra? <laughs> Get out of here. I, I don't know enough about it to comment, but I just think these are people that, like, I think are super talented. Like Kevin Spacey, every year, and he did oh. one this year, and we didn't play it. And I wanted to play it. I wanted to play his new Christmas video. Oh, every, he had a new one. He did a new one. Every year he does a Christmas video as the president of the United States, that character he does. Still? Yes. They took that away from him. No, every year for Christmas, whether we want it or not, <laughs> he does. In this one, he had. Um, well, he doesn't care what you no, want. No, this don't one, want. he had. What's his name? The right wing um, commentator that got fired by um, Fox News. Uh, uh, Bill O'Reilly. No, uh, uh, <laughs> Tucker, uh, Tucker, Tucker, Tucker Carlson. Carlson. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In this one, he had Tucker Carlson playing himself, interviewing him as the president of the United States. It was pretty awesome. Like, good setup, but it's like, you know, you're a... Is it a good setup? It is. It he's getting, those, like, the those best... Those you have nothing else to do he's, right But he's now. getting, like, why is he still even, Why is he still doing it? It's weird. Do conservatives like him? Uh, I, I, t- uh, who? Kevin Spacey. Oh, I don't know. I, I was don't know that about, anybody really likes Kevin I don't think anybody likes it. I was talking about more about uh, Tucker do, Carlson. Do we like Mel Gibson now? Uh, Sam he, does. He worked his way back. Sam loves him. I do not. But I did watch him in Chicken Run. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's I also did watch that Fat Man movie. He was more believable in that than uh, in Fat Man. But young Mel yeah. Gibson? Damn. Yeah. There was an end to him. Young, but I am going to the place where they uh, filmed Braveheart. Oh, Braveheart. Cool. Um, so in Scotland, right? Ireland. Scotland. Ireland. Ireland. Oh, they filmed it in Ireland? I guess parts of it. Um, hmm. Sounds good to me. What's the last topic? Farts and rap? Yeah, that's a quick one. Uh, that's a word you never hear in rap. There you go. Uh, <laughs> farts. I want more. I want more of the word fart in rap. I was. I was sitting laying you there. You put bed. it in a rap. I was. I did, and that's what made me think. I was laying in bed. I was like, "What's the word that's least used in rap music?" And I was like. Fart. That's the one. Because I don't think black people like to talk about farts. Like, white people will talk about our farts. But black people are like, you nasty. Don't like, shut the fuck up. Like, but white people will talk about our fart. Be like, oh, that was hot and juicy. Or like, But what, black people, I think they're like, that's some gross right. shit. Do you know that song, Smell Your Dick? Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, by yeah. Risk Why are you coming? I just home? put in uh, rap songs with fart in them. And I've uh, Complex.com has 12 fart rap anthems. <gasps> oh, yeah. Uh, what, what Complex. Uh, we have Wu-Tang Clan featuring Red Man, Red Bull. Are you wow. familiar, Tom? This was your... 
genre here. Why are you coming? It says, and, a, and the quote is, in a room full yeah, of we crackers. We used to play that all the time. In a room full of crackers, I might cut Something the cheese. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I, he said the word no, fart. I, I need the word fart. <laughs> oh, you need the actual word fart. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I need like. No, yeah. Son. These all look like they're just yeah, alluding like, to farts. Yeah, sitting, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. sitting in my fart. lab working on beats. Gotta rip a fart. Oh, it smells like meat. <laughs> I need like I want like that. I want like the guy. Did you like, just come up so, with that? Yeah, yeah, I want the cipher. Oh, we the, do have one. Nas Ether. 2001 it says the fart that makes your butt burn slow okay <laughs> write an AI rap song about fart okay. and then you got <laughs> then Nelly's hot in her in 2002 says it smells like a fart in here it might burn off your nose it smells like so much like a fart I'm gonna burn your nose off what that's in that's in that song and get, it's getting hot in here yeah it's getting and Drake here. started from the bottom from two, uh, 2013 it's, that's it's about a fart <laughs> farted from the bottom <laughs> No, he doesn't that's say fake. fake. He never that's says fake. farted from the bottom. That's fake. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, complex put out farted. a fake. Is this from April 1st? Farted Hold from on. the bottom. I think Nelly. I got got. I think, yeah, I think you're looking at it. Because I don't website. think. I, that's me. Traditionally, I mean, I think I can safe in saying that. I don't think black people like talking about their farts. <laughs> farted. Our black listeners can tell me if I'm wrong. Maybe <laughs> they do, but I think that's a white thing. Okay, we got our songs. You All ready? Right. You got two to choose from, and they'll play us out. We can either go with Rumble in the Tummy, yes, or Big Booty Bass. Oh, Big Booty <laughs> we'll Bass. We'll do both. We'll do both. Who am I kidding? Uh, we'll do both. <laughs> um, this is Rumble in the Tummy first. Man, they be colossal. They hit you like a thunderstorm louder than a drum. Leave the room smelling funky. Ain't no place to run. Rumble in the tummy. Ripping up the farts. Yeah. Big boys and big girls with the gas powered hearts. From the belly to the Why's it gotta be big boys and girls? <laughs> Ain't no denying we the kings of chemistry. I put fat people in there just to <laughs> spice it up a little bit. I can't, I can't help myself. I get in there and I, I was like, I gotta put all AI the people. AI is fat phobic. I get it. I get it. Type it. I gotta put all the people I hate in there. <laughs> <laughs> It is crazy that they can put together the song and the rhyme and everything. You know, AI could do it all in, in seconds. 12 seconds. And, and then what know. impresses me the most is that it does like background characters and people yeah, like yeah. we never got into and we'll end on this one right here but it, we never got to any of like it does <laughs> like broadway tunes what and when it does broadway tunes it'll put like the it'll put like the broadway characters in the back <laughs> like singing um Stop. hold on i'm gonna find Stop. it here i'm gonna find the one um, i love that i love this world we're living in I feel like we got sucked into a. a oh, we're totally a in some weird timeline. It does yeah. seem a bit like a. Oh, now uh, I want to watch Community. It does seem a bit like a, a, a simulation, right? Like it doesn't seem. Yeah, this isn't real. Real. When is um, that Community movie ever coming out? Never. It isn't. Right? Okay, we'll go with this. This will be the last one. This is. Oh, here it is. The Mediocre Time Shuffle. I wrote this <laughs> last night. This is a Broadway comedic song. Welcome to a podcast that's unlike the rest. A mediocre time, it's the very best. The very best. See? With Tom, Dan, and Samantha. See, it's got like Broadway characters where like we're singing and then the use is the very best. And then the character to the side goes, the very best. I went, I yeah. started messing with it later and I had it saying, it, it, I had it at one point singing. The lady goes, Tom and Dan is the very best. And the side character went, that's preposterous. <laughs> because I went in, you yeah, can go yeah. in and remix it and you can go, when the lady said, it's the best as a question, I went in, deleted it and wrote, that's preposterous with an exclamation mark. Mark and it made the guy that said it like an old man. Like it knew, cool. it kind of knew. Like oh, it went from a question to being negative. Let's make it a grumbly old man. So the the lady would sing and be like, "That's preposterous," and it just kind of knew. And that's the scary, that's crazy. Part. That's the scary. Part. Uh, Brendan, uh, any events coming up you want to talk about? Yoga High is the biggest one okay. uh, on the 24th. We are hopefully going to be starting a movie series over there too at the Acre. Uh, and, uh, I think that's it for, uh, oh, Faded Kingdom on the 27th, oh, yeah. same day. It's from noon until four. You can come to our beer festival here in Baldwin Park, uh, that we're doing with Tactical Brewing. Nice. Uh, 
Brenda will be emceeing, mm-hmm. and we're flying in uh, some of those MMA fighters that wear the full plate armor again. But these guys are coming from around the world. Oh, wow. And they look like they're from Game of Thrones. They're cool. like no body fat. Like they are mercenaries that beat the hell out of each other. A couple of them practice with Tom Hardy. Oh, in wow. the UK, they're like friends, and they all do this together and just beat the hell out of each other, and I assume make out after. <laughs> yeah, so that's on the 27th. Uh, yeah, there's. I think there's like 40 different breweries. Yeah, maybe over that. I was looking at the... Yeah, maybe 50. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of beers. Yeah, and I'll be there. So come and hang out with awesome. me in Baldwin Park. Go see Brenda. Awesome. Um, Sam, any semantics this weekend? Yeah, so tonight we'll actually be on Twitch, twitch.tv slash semanticsmedia. We're going to be playing Ooh. some games. Uh, haven't decided yet if we're going to play Mario or if we're going to play the new Expanse game. Um, also, all semantics podcasts will be on semanticspodcast.com or anywhere you find podcasts. We have our seven-year anniversary coming up at Rock Pit Brewing on February Yay. 18th at noon, if you want to show up for that um and we have a new you heard about this one coming out this sunday that is about the nation's most haunted restaurant which is right here in florida and we went to go visit it whoa oh, taco bell can you tell us where <laughs> yes ashley's of rockledge whoa yeah. um we've got our bdm appreciation week coming up in uh april we so do. uh we've been planning an event too a bdm only event and you can only be involved if you are a BDM, so you can sign up at TomandDan.com. Yeah, you guys are, if everything goes the way we're hoping it goes, you guys are not going to want to miss this party. Yeah, yeah, You're not yeah, going to believe what we've put together because yeah. we didn't even believe that it's actually no. happening. And we're like, this is too good to be. I don't even like talking yeah. about it. It kind of weirds me out. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you can sign up there. And also, we're going to be at the Solar Bears game, Science on Tap, uh, next weekend. Yeah, come hang out with us. Got a lot of things going on. Uh, our 10-year ACT anniversary is coming up. We're in the midst of planning that as well. It is indeed. Which is crazy. We've been doing that show for 10 years. Uh, yeah, it's really, really weird. But we're going to try and like revamp some things, do some cool stuff, because uh, we do know that a lot of you guys listen to ACT, and we certainly do appreciate that. It is good to be back. I feel like this is when we're back in the full swing of things now. Yeah, yeah. two under full belt. week. Yeah, sure. we got a full week. So, guys, thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate it, Brendan. As always, love seeing you, buddy. Thanks for having me back. First episode of the uh, of the year. Yeah. Yes, sir. Happy New Year. Happy Very New good Year. To see you. Go support uh, Brendan and Brenda wherever they are. Yeah. And guys, we will see you next week. Oh, wait a minute. I I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre. In the hills of Tennessee, a long time ago, there lived a man named Jesus, don't you know? He wore his hair long, and his robes were white. He spread love and peace with a heavenly light. Walking high with the Lord. Singing hymns of joy How his love hears Jesus liked to smoke weed In the evening sun Finding heaven on earth His work was never